Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby. Um, let's Welcome watch to the Trailer right. Boys, everybody. Yeah. This is the show, so, Trailer Boys, where you submit trailers on a theme. The theme is G-rated tonight. But before we get into that, we're going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot that. Wait, so. did we get to G-rated because of what one last time I, I, th- I think so i think it was think like we, we needed did. a palette cleanser We're like oh my god we yeah because we've there's been a lot of very porny trailer boys and if we kept going that way we would have had to be on a different channel anyways yes yeah. so you submit trailers and we watch them and we vote on them and chat gets to vote on it too and uh they get awarded points and then that at the end of the night, the four, five, six uh, highest point earners uh, get re-voted on again for Trailer of the Night. And points go towards some sort of complicated season system that I uh, don't get involved in. Um, I will tell you how the points work, Timmy. <laughs> go ahead. So you guys vote on the trailers. If chat, if if 25% or less of chat say yes then it's zero points 25 to 50 is one point 50 to 75 two points 75 to 99 is three points and the very very rare it's only happened twice 100 percent of chat votes yes that's four points and then we also vote and when all the voting happens we tally them and let's see what it looks like it's only been two episodes in away stork away in the lead Abby Sally in second place. Flange in third. Talk Ship in fourth. Chris Coe in fifth. Butterfly Baluda in sixth. Yeah. Silent Tally. Grim Word. Voodoo Cowboy. It looks like Rex Bosworth, Rex Bosworth Champion of Man. I gotta adjust this. Looks like I got cut off. Um, but yeah, so that's the leaderboard right there, everybody. Good work, everybody. Very good. And right now we have trailers. Um, do I, coming do we want to give? <clears throat> I have what I could give as a prize. I was going through stuff, and I have a download code for a shitty movie that I could give to the le- to the top person tonight. I could DM okay. it to them later. There you go. Right. Um, Sam, terrible. do you have? I'm not going to watch it. Coming attractions. Yes, I do have coming attractions. <laughs> Okay. If you miss a line in the game, you reset. You miss it on the track. Pre trailer trailer. You could die. Oh, is that what that is? Huh? Who do you think the best driver is? Probably Rory. I would dust him in a lap. Who do you think yeah. the best All you do is clean your game? Shut up, I'm watching this. Dreams of you seen this yet? Cars. Dad, you're the one no. who told us to always do something it's we love. You know what racing cars cost? Look around. It's not our world, son. What is this? It's a contest. The best Gran Turismo players in the world get a chance to compete in professional racing. Dude, this is real. This is real. I'm sorry. You really think you're going to take a kid who plays video games in their bedroom, you're going to strap them to a 200 mile an hour rocket. It'll tear them to pieces. You can hate me now. It's not going to work. The guys who race are elite athletes. But I won't stop now. Your kids are scrawny little gamer kids. Well, that's why you coming. Come on, let's go. Because I can't stop now. Must be a new experience for you moving your legs. <laughs> You puked on my lawn. There's no turning back. Our race car drivers are elite athletes. The cockpit is going to be 140 oh, degrees Fahrenheit. Out here they are, buddy. G-forces will be twice when an Dale Earnhardt died. It's like they shut off. down the fucking town. Hey, you get extra points for that in the game? She 
Jesus Christ. I, had to hustle hard, never I guess you have to, I mean, you don't see a lot of fat NASCAR drivers, right? I guess you gotta be in shape to react quickly, and I don't know. I guess to survive a crash. I mean... What's next? Major leagues. The other drivers are going to hate you. Come on! Whoopsie. What is your problem? It's part of the game. It's called racing. I, I you miss the line in the game. A lot of reset. times these races you miss it on are the track. extremely long. You could die. And yeah, I think they are physically demanding. I think especially like this isn't I know NASCAR, this so it's a lot of turns. Right. So you're constantly fighting with the car. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Grand Tris, well, they're actually. Are they on tracks or are they out on the street? But I won't stop there's sometimes there's uh, tracks that okay. in, incorporate the Neil Blomkamp. Street. Yeah. So yeah. I like uh, that the you know it's there's always been the old saying you can't really make a good video game movie and you know uh, there have been ones that come close maybe but uh, I'd like that now they've got this little loophole they're like what if we make biopics about video games <laughs> where they just did the Tetris movie, which I didn't see, but looks good. It's and awesome. Then it's very this. good. Is it good? Well, no. Yeah. This this is about a person who did yeah. something that they did on Gran Turismo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah no, I know. It's a true game. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what uh, I'm saying. The Tetris one was too. Yeah, but that's about the game being made. This is... Right, this but is I'm saying they're both using... Story that came from the game right but in, in both cases it's like a video game movie but it's actually you know yeah out. have you seen yeah. need for speed no i was actually to good the, we and, watched it on mid hunters it. yeah it's not bad i thought it would be uh, absolute garbage it. and it was not absolute garbage um go ahead and get the next one right now. i'm gonna go parent a little bit be right back nascar is worse more endurance uh, physically, are you saying Belzo? Uh, I'd say like like you know, there's there's races that are 24 hours. That that's how long the race is. Uh, Lee Mans. Yeah. Um, uh, Need for Speed was fun, but it was like pretty funny. Where I was like, I bet this happens in the movie. And it did. And then, like, early on, like, in the first two minutes of the movie, you put a poll up, like, does this character die? And then, sure enough, within the, the, the first act, he, he died. It's pretty fun. It's pretty funny, uh, just, like, kind of predicting the movie as we went along. I'll say this. I bet in Gran Turismo, you know how there's that, like, like trailer um, crash that happens, you know, where the, the car flips a bunch and the guy gets thrown out of it? Yeah, they showed it a couple I, times. I bet that doesn't happen. That's not like real. I bet that's like a fake out in the in the beginning, you know? I bet no. the context of that is a lot less fun than uh uh Y'all don't gotta wait for me. Well, You're so sweet though. All right. Uh next trailer. Uh this one see oh i've been waiting to to see that. this is actually based on a documentary and you can't find the documentary now. Mm. oh it's known I, as yeah. a beautiful game but let's face it it's a complicated game guys soccer as you like to call it is like life next season i think we have a real shot i'm sorry uh thomas did nobody tell you you're you're fired good news is you got two options Option one, that's where you're currently at. Or American Samoa. Are you serious? If you're all alone, the breathing Love the song. We haven't scored one goal in the history of our country trying to have a soccer team. Goal! They scored again. Humiliation. Mark my words. Things are going to change. I got us a new coach. Oh. Something to drink? Whiskey, beer, wine? Yep, we got all those. Which one? Whiskey, beer, and wine. Ooh, you like to drink? It's safe to say you have zero talent or understanding of the game. Something not right about this guy. Well, he is white. 
Well, we deserve you that. You got the toughest job on the island. All we want is just one goal. One goal. Come on, guys! We've worked too long and hard for this. You've only been here a few days. What the? I can't work with these guys. For them, it's like some sort of game. It is a game, Thomas. That's it, Jaya. Leadership. Now we're making some progress. Dear Lord, well, thank you for sending us Mr. Rongan. We've become quite attached to him. It's like finding a little lost white kid at the mall and telling him which way to go. <laughs> Taika Waititi's so good at making movies that aren't Thor Love and Thunder. You know what I mean? Do yeah, they score yeah. a goal in the end of the movie? That movie is terrible. What? 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 Do you think they are? score a goal at the end of the movie? Um, I don't know. I'd no. love it for. I don't know, Sam. Do you know the real story? I don't. Uh, I I watched the trailer for the documentary a while ago. Uh, uh, I think I think they do. They might do more than just score a goal. Who knows? I think they win the World Cup. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Mythic says, at least it's still cool to make fun of white people, right? I feel like you're being sarcastic, but it is true. It will always be okay. And then right after that, Domino's Fleet, who uh, we have uh, kind of a relationship now, says, Taika Waititi might be the most overrated director currently getting work. Oh, I think that's a long, that's a big list. I think that's a, that's a, there's a lot of those people. I don't know. Taika's made some good films, though, so. Yeah. You know, he, he uh, what we do some, in the shadows is great. Uh, the we Thor do the Ragnarok. Shadows, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, uh, the what's the hunt for the? I didn't people? see that one with Sam Neill and that kid. I've heard that's great. That awesome. That's great. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Yeah. And was uh Jojo Bunny Jojo Rabbit? Jo- was that Jojo one? Rabbit? I like Jojo Rabbit. It was as funny as could be given the context of the story. All right. Hey, uh, away <laughs> circuit says Sam, you crossed a picket line. I don't think Sam would cross a picket line. No, I didn't cross the picket line. When, when did I cross the picket line? They say you cross a picket line or what? That's what they're they're asking. Oh, oh, they're asking. No, no, I have not crossed the picket Fuck line. Fuck that, man. I was gonna I'm, say, I'm, uh, do you know anybody? I'm sure you do, Sam. You know, we have we have friends that are stri- like uh, in the picket line, right? I know. I, I'm gonna go next week. I didn't go oh, yeah? last week. Yeah. I obviously can't be there I, i'm not in the wga but i w- would still represent if i could i was wondering would they appreciate uh, uh treats i think it's gonna be uh, happening for a while you know what i mean sure like cookies what if i mailed you a box of cookies to take down there like real cookies uh, yeah like yeah. cookies i made you said treats in mail- such an odd way treats i know i made it sound like i was gonna send them drugs i don't know why i said that way <laughs> but i'm not mail me a box of cookies don't let a rat eat it. I mean, I don't think it's going to make it down to the picket line, but <laughs> mail me it. Okay, what kind of cookies don't you like? And I'll make those so you don't eat them. Well, I, <laughs> I gonna definitely, lie to definitely don't like like peanut buttery cookies. So, Are you being serious? No, you're joking right now. I'm right? allergic to peanut butter. You are? Very. I'm surprised you never knew that about me. I made you peanut butter cookies once when we when we were writing uh, season five, and Darren and I had that house in uh, Atwater. Yeah, or and they were awful, and I had a reaction, and that's why you don't that that's why you definitely shouldn't send me peanut okay. butter cookies. This is that no. This is a no one suck my dick moment, isn't it? <laughs> um. Cool. Um. Uh, there's so is there another one yeah 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 there's all there's, right there's some, there was a bunch of trailers dropped in the last two weeks yeah uh there's a good one what did i just watch oh dune 2 or part Spoiler 2 alert oh well if you wouldn't have said anything whatever i guess you're right i spoiled it all right uh nate hold on wait don't switch over yet it's breathtaking when you see sand here, imagine water. Oh, actually, switch over. Yeah, I thought there was going to be a pre-trailer trailer. Sam, did you like the first one of these? Yeah. Yeah, I did too. Have you? I forget if you've read any of the books. 
I, I listened to one of the books. Okay. I did like a whole house cleaning and, and listened oh, to nice. the original band. Um, I, I really thought, you know, I've seen Lynch's film once or twice and like it, but I thought this one really fucking nails how I pictured it in my head, like to a T in some cases, you know? Yeah. Um, hey, are you ready? Yeah. When you see sand here, imagine water. If you dive in, you can't reach the bottom. You dive in. Yes, it's called swimming. <laughs> I don't I don't believe you. I think it's called fetal boarding. In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets. <laughs> they invent a new word for but swimming. The of them all yeah, she's like, that's the part she doesn't believe, is that it's called swimming. Four stupid. Who like the, the princess the or whatever? Look, Lark. Yeah, yeah Flo Pio is playing the princess. Uh, Irulan. What if Paul Atreides were still alive? Who's that? Austin Butler playing Fade Rafa? Yeah, it looks like. It. Was she not in the first movie? Have you ever had No, Fedorotha didn't show up in the first movie. <laughs> well, when you think about it, well, Chani barely did either, the way they kind of did it, but I mean, it makes Don't sense. I didn't impress anyone. You're brave, we all know that. Be simple. Be direct. Man, I love when Javier Bardem was in this one. Nothing fancy. I understand. I can't believe they have this in the trailer. Yeah, yeah I, I, I suppose you gotta do something with it, though. You know, it's, it's such a huge part of the book. It's where... a huge moment in the book, I know, but it's also like, but you gotta, sh you gotta let people know what's gonna happen, though, too. You know, I don't know. I, I, I lean towards agree with you. You know, I would say on the show that. The trailer gives way too much. Man, I don't know. It's a hard one to do. If they made it one film, they put that in the trailer. Oh, shit. Yes. That knife chip been shattered. Shatter. I just fucking I got chills. It. I got chills. Right. This is a fake trailer. Yeah. The only time I get chills is for fake trailers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a real one, baby. No, no, that's the that's a fake trailer. That's from Screen Aficionados or something. <laughs> Man, fake trailers are funny. What did I just? Yeah, say Beach, I'm with you too. Like, who's gonna play the daughter or the sister? Yeah, I, I was wondering the too. Sister? Yeah, the sister. Yeah, yeah. Timmy, read all the prequel books. Never. I hate it when a cool author's son decides to just do dad's work. Um. But I haven't read all six of the originals. I've read the first five and never read Chapter House Dune. I really want this series to be able to adapt book four and five, though, especially book four. Book four, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it for people who might read the books. But anyways. Yeah, shut up. You Let's know about it, though, right? Right, Nate? No, no, all I right. don't. Oh. Okay. That's uh, why I'm saying shut up. <laughs> are we done with coming attractions? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay, we can start the show. I'll I'll do uh, Timmy's collection. I got a couple, but it's actually on theme with the show, so we can start the show and then take a breather sometime, and I'll do it. Okay, who's up first? Oh. Grim word. Hold on, quick joke. When they make the triple X parody, all they need to do is jumble up the title to nude. <laughs> That's really funny, Grim word. Can you imagine just in the same like font and everything? All right, I got one. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That piss is. I thought this was rated G. This is from the bottom. Someone once said it was raining brains. Roxy Robinson wouldn't even get wet. Roxy had spent his whole life making two and two into five. But he could smell trouble like other people could smell gas. But believe you's me, he should have never taken that blind alley by the side of Perito's Bakery. I've heard about this.
Yeah, this is... What a, what's the quality here? It's like Your name a, Robinson? Why does kids sketch? Roxy Robinson. You woke with Fat Sam? <laughs> Whatever game it was, everybody was playing. Sure as eggs is eggs, Roxy the Weasel had been scrambled. He's a sinner, candy-coated For all his friends, he always seems to be alone But they love him, bugs him alone A city slicker, he can charm you with a smile and a style all his own Everybody loves that man Bugs him alone Now my friends, I should be filming you in This guy the, the is looking at his is hero Paul Williams? Oh, man. Name of Bugs him alone That's what Dr. A nice Bastard guy guessed. A little too yeah. popular with the broads for my liking But a nice guy An Italian mother, an Irish father Naturally, grown up a little confused, kind of mixed up. Oh, by the ways, oh, by the I nearly ways. forgot my name's Sam, Fat Sam, on account of my physique. I ain't no dumb bum, and between you and me, this ain't no bookstore. This is my place, Fat Sam's Grand Slam, best joint in town. Hi, Jelly. Hi, Bucky. I don't think those credits of the names of the kids were real. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It didn't look real. Plus, when I Google this movie, it says Scott Bale played Bugs in Malone. Anybody who is, anybody who is, makes sense for the time. Jody Foster? Yeah. Yeah, those credits are weird. This must be. Yeah, see, it was kind of a fan trailer or something. But I mean, whatever. It seemed real enough like a. I mean, it was a trailer, you know? But it's it's funny because. Uh... What was that? What's the point of that then? The fake kids thing? Was that like a school production of Bugsy Malone? Oh, maybe it was. This uh, is Michael Jackson was in this. Really? Or maybe it's a different Michael Jackson. <laughs> well, it could have been, though. He was a kid then. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah uh, or a different Michael Jackson. Um, it's funny because it's funny uh, uh, you said Scott Bayo's in this, and I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but the thing that like was suggested to me on the the suggest next suggested uh, YouTube video was Zapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's weird. Um, I love Zapped. <laughs> uh, you know, the trailer was it's crazy. I I kind of wish the video quality had been better. I mean, I think I was. I was I was a little like I liked I was excited on it on one hand and then the whole like um, other credits this like school production thing bummed me out. Yeah, me too. It was like what it just kind of threw me out of the whole thing. Yeah, kind of ruined it for me. Hey, when I'm picking out a new the, tr- oh scar sorry the, go ahead. Uh, uh, Things of it, Bugsy Malone. Uh, gangster movie where all the characters are played by kids and the Tommy guns are replaced with cream blasters. Uh, <laughs> going to be kept the same for the porn parody. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't want to watch kids get cream in the face? Who's that's saying that's this? In the com- that's in the comment. Oh, uh, on the context. A young oh, okay. Jody Foster in this one fresh off the controversial role in Taxi Driver. Oh, wow. This was after Taxi Driver. Great music and great trailer. Uh, I would almost... I, I would... Be, I Taxi Driver 76. Yes, huh? It really did kill it for me, though. It's like, yeah. Those. Um, Like I always say, watch your trailer, kiddos, because... The high school thing threw me off too. Also, the quality made it harder for me to enjoy it. And listen, I know that there's a lot of whitest kids sketches out there. It looks like it was shot in a fucking shoebox. But when you're coming in here, you know, give it a little gander first. Make sure it's something we'll be able to watch easily. That's just my I two mean, cents. 
sometimes you can't you can't find one that doesn't yeah, have that's that. True. I was interested to see if they said, "Hey, this was the only one I could find." Yeah, I know it has this in there, but they didn't. So I'm gonna give it one point. I'll give it one. Yeah, point. I I mean it's a crazy concept. I will also give it one point. And did it get into chat yet? Uh, voting. I didn't. Uh, I closed our thing. Chat voted 78% no, so that got less than 25% yes. Yeah, so that is Ooh, zero so points got from chat. Zero. Wow. Um, I also to... give it zero points. Um, I've actually so... seen a better trailer of this that had Jodie Foster in it, you know? And really? Spoiler, and you're like, whoa, what? This was a weird mm-hmm. three minute long, like, yeah. clips of the movie. Yeah, it was Here's, weird. Fudgy mm. stuff says they watched like a hundred trailers for it and this is the best one uh oh fudgy stuff um yeah that's where they get their name <laughs> so that's, that's two points for fudgy stuff two points we have to oh, minus yeah, one yeah one point yeah for one that. point dang um all right should we should we watch another one no i think we should yeah. end it. all right have a good night everybody um, should I go next? I got one. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. This person, okay, I th- this is the one I want to watch. Okay, here we go. Oh. This morning you fall and you can't get off the floor. That's your hips, Alvin. And you're going to have to use a walker now to get around. No walker. I love a lightning storm. Oh, me too, Dad. A cloud. I had a... a stroke. Rose, darling, I'm gonna go back on the road. And I, I've got to make this trip on my own. I've got to go see Lyle. I know you understand. <laughs> Alvin, you're gonna get blown off the right off the road. That's what I'm afraid. Zion, Wisconsin? Why didn't you just take your car? I don't have a driver's license. That's 60 more miles of hills. That's across the Mississippi. I'm having a little engine trouble. (laughs) You know, uh, I'd be happy to drive you the rest of the way to Mount Zion. I still want to finish this the way I started. And this trip is a hard swallow my pride. I just hope I'm not too late. You've got two brothers that haven't spoken in 10 years. I want to make peace. I want to sit with him, look up at the stars, like we used to do so long ago. A brother's a brother. The Straight Story. <clears throat> wow. Uh, have you guys seen that film? No. I, think, I think I watched it when it came out. I like it. I've only seen it once, but I think it's great. And yeah, it is rated G. It's on Disney+. Plus. It is? Oh, cool. Yeah. That's when I, uh, I watch it because I'm like, oh, finally they have this other. I'm like, it's rated G. I'm going to watch it. To see if uh, wouldn't it be fun if I could watch a David Lynch movie with my young daughter? Uh, you know, it's three four years ago, and I watched it. I'm like, this is too sad for kids. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Richard Farnsworth. Uh, just, I mean, that you saw it in the trailer. It's a very uh, well meditative, which is why the David Lynch angle is in there. But um, it's also very. Uh, Ponderous, I guess. I don't know, but it's a lot of uh, talk about where he went wrong, kind of stuff. You know, I thought I think it's very good. And uh, somebody mythic in chat said, "So the takeaway here is sometimes David Lynch makes duds." Yeah, maybe the takeaway here is a uh, suck my butt. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but the trailer, I don't know. What do you guys think about the trailer, though? I didn't like it. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm with. Mythic. I liked it. 
it's super different, you know, from just about anything else we ever watch on here. You know? what, it's a why, movie why I would never like watch. It? it looked super fucking boring. No. It didn't have um, uh, the Karate Kid or tits in it, so Nate's not going to like it. Uh, two things that are not boring. That's Here's true. Th- those aren't boring either. I, well, I, tits I aren't boring. It. I liked it so much, I'm not going to talk to you for 10 years. <laughs> oh, okay, but then if he gets sick, are you going to ride a, a, a little ride on mower across Iowa to talk to him? I'm going to drive, yeah, just Iowa. Yeah. Why don't you just take a bus? Well, that's what I, happens. I have to it, take a. I have to take a bus to. I don't tell me the ending. I, I, no, no, I no, no, no. It. I didn't say that's what happens. Is the bus? <laughs> no, what happens is he rides his ride him over across. Like that's where he is. He's in Iowa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Also, yeah, it's a I'm true gonna, story. I'm, I'm gonna take a bus to Iowa, get on a mower, drive the the mower across Iowa, and then get on a bus and take that to Massachusetts. Big girl once it felt a like cis male propaganda, but said cis s i s. So you mean like guys that have sisters? Or? Sissies. Oh, sissies. Yeah. I don't know. There's a really uh, great part where he uh, hangs out at a, he. He's you know. It's oh, a road it's, trip I movie. think it was a sissy spacek. Oh, uh, baby, yeah. Too much television propaganda. says Richard Farnsworth was also dying oh, of bone right. cancer in his hips when he was performing. He was nominated for Best Actor, and after the awards, he killed himself. Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. Which only when you see the movie, the, the film is extremely melancholy. When you see it, it's like, wow. But yeah, Wait, when he, I, he killed himself? The actor did, yeah. How, uh, that's crazy. Yeah. I forgot about that. Um, it's it's one of uh, our mutual friend Jordan's favorite David Lynch movies. Me and Jordan talk about David Lynch stuff all the time, and he loves this movie. Um, th- my my letterbox review years ago, I just wrote this. Well, it's basically what I said is like, oh, cool, I'll check this out, see if I can watch this with my daughter. And then after I'm done, I'm like, Richard Farnsworth's eyes will ruin my daughter's childhood just because he's just so sad the whole time. And the fact that he was like, uh, at the time, already probably contemplating suicide only ask that anyways you know what i'm gonna give that trailer two points yeah that's two points for me too nate you're giving it zero yep yeah typical uh, chat has given it one point so four points total because we got a minus one so that is four points for count pupper who is that a new uh submitter count pupper no no no, no. count okay. pupper actually has been um also streaming, if, if you guys are in oh. chat and look for more people to follow, Count Pupper has also been um, doing some uh, some mids, but mostly uh, cool. some some theme things. So well, I've uh, not been able to stream some nights, and I'll just watch Count Pupper's. Actually, Count Pupper watched one the other night, um, and I, is it, uh, what was it? Somebody remind me, it was about uh, bears or something. Hey, oh, no, I gotta no, no. go was... get my kid to sleep. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I wanted to ask Timmy if he'd heard of this movie. Oh, 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 oh sorry. I, okay. I, no, no, Kill I know that's the, the Charmin commercials. No, no, no. Kill Her Goats or something like that. Is that what the that title of the about movie? About what? What's the movie about? Uh, it's about this girl that gets a house on Cape Cod. And it's like, the, we start watching it. I didn't know it was on Cape Cod. And I'm like, this looks like my hometown. And I'm like watching it. I'm like, no, it really does. And so I'm like looking it up and like, sure enough, this it's like Nate's Dennis Ford's hometown. What, okay. It's so what Kill happened Her in the movie? Yeah, that's the name of it. You got to do or do parenting. I'm going to tell Sam about it. Okay. Yeah. Go do your parenting. So Sam. No, I'm just kidding. I, I yeah. fell asleep before the goat showed up. Um, that was shot in Dennis. Uh, yeah, the guy's done three movies. So we watched a movie on here, I think one time that was like called the muck or something. The muck. Hmm. Okay. Muck. It was like a mud. It was like a marsh movie. I guess he's done three movies at his house in Dennis. Um, and this is one of them. Kill her goats. It did have a ton of boobs. I missed all the boobs. And I didn't see any goats. Um, how's it going? Okay. I I've given two. This is the most zeros I've. I've I don't think I've ever given two back to back zeros. 
I I disagree with you so much on this one. Uh, I I don't know. All right, um, my turn is yeah. Play one so I can give a zero. Some sometimes I mean, it's not my so submission. You know, sometimes good movies are boring. You guys sure. are still talking about straight story, but I wouldn't call it, it boring, though. No, no, no. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that's just sometimes it's true, though. That, yeah. That just because something looks like it's like slower pace doesn't mean it's bad. Right. There's some very. I mean, sometimes the slow pace is annoying, but there's some stuff that's really, really works. I would say that is one of them. Yeah. But I also understand the standpoint of I need tits and karate because ninety percent of the movies I watch have tits and karate. So I watched I watch movies to be entertained, and that didn't look entertaining. Well, it is, and you're wrong, and you're a shallow-minded piece of shit. Fine, I'm I'm just kidding, man. I'm not defensive of you know. It's I'm not. I don't know why you're so defensive of the movie. I'm not actually being defensive. It's called joking around. Can I research the movie to have? (laughs) Oh. Yo, can we quick say this though? Pause your trailer, you little piece of shit, so I can tell this story and embarrass you. Archie Chan is the businessman. I'm not. I'm trying to pause the trailer. Somebody keeps hitting play. Okay. No. Today I was uh, texting back and forth with Nate, and uh, Nate uh, showed me a picture of it. His hands were all black because he was spray painting something in the garage at his house. And so I said, Hey man, my hands are just black too. And I showed him a picture cause I was doing a bunch of yard work today. And like, you know, uh, this was my first spring in this house. And so I had to do a lot of work, like uh, cleaning up a garden spot and some other stuff. So I sent Nate a picture. I said, look how nice this looks. And there's a very nice, very black soil patch of garden. And Nate writes back. What is that? I said, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? I said, it is dirt. It looked you like asked carpet. Me if it was carpet. It's like <laughs> dirt. It looks like dirt. Anyways, when you say I gotta research South Dakota, uh, maybe we're even going deeper than that. Maybe you just need to learn about outside. All right, all right. Here. I want to get to the bottom of this. Timmy, can you send me that picture? Mm-hmm. And can you also send me a picture of carpet? <laughs> and I'll t- but don't tell me which one's which. Okay, okay, okay. You got it. Uh, uh, this is good. Also, yeah, send him I'm the good, same I'm, picture. I am yeah, going to send him the same, same picture. picture. I sent him one, and I'm going to send him the other one. This is my hometown. This is my hometown. And then tell him what you told head? me in the context of the picture. What? What I said first? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're really, really, really going to try here, aren't you, buddy? All right. So. I cover. Okay. Yeah. I see what you, what you mean with the mic context. Okay. So. So I sent him both pictures. Now I'm sending him the two uh, things I said to you. But I uncovered this today. Okay. Yeah, hold on. The other, uh, there we go. I think uh, the next sentence I just sent, Sam, I, I think that's a pretty good context clue. Plus, From under a bunch of floor mats and dead leaves. Floor mats okay. as in car floor mats, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so which which picture is which, Sam, of the ones I sent you? I'm gonna say. Oh, go on. Um, the one with the shadow is the dirt. Yes. No, j- just kidding. Just oh, it is. The ones with the shadow. Well, they both have shadows in them. No, the one with there's one that has like a big shadow. I I was just kidding. I was trying to. I, but look at I, but look at that. There's also like it's dirt. Like there's sticks and there's leaves in it, and it's there's concrete right next to that. 
It looks I thought like, it was uh, floor. Uh, you were like, I took under uh, some floor mats. Look, it's clearly outdoor it was lighting, too, though. I thought it was inside. Know. All right. Anyways, Nate's right. Everyone here is a redneck, and we live in poop, and there's no technology. And I thought you should have I to know it, what dirt looks like. In my defense, mm-hmm. I thought you had pulled up a bunch of old flooring, and you were mm-hmm. like, look at this super old carpet that was under all this old flooring. But we were talking about our hands being black. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. From the carpet. Right. From you know dirt. how carpet turns your hands black? Well, if it's covered in dust. Oh, my God, you guys. Why don't you just suck it? No, you can't. That'd be weird. But anyways, you're really, really working hard to defend each other. Um, Show me your trailer, you dumb asshole. <laughs> <laughs> is it? See, the thing is, especially with Nate, and also with Sam, but Nate, I feel like when you and I do this, It's just like, you know, when Trevor, well, not so much anymore, but like a couple years ago when Trevor and I would would stream, now when we stream, it's really quiet. But when I would stream, when we would stream before, he and I would get on each other's cases and people be like, oh my God, they hate each other. It's like. No, I I never give you shit. I just think it's funny what you are protective of. That isn't anything to do with you personally. I will never attack you. No, I'm not protective of this state, but I just want you to, like, I just wish, like, if if you're going to route the same shit to me that people have been telling me for years, it's like, well, just give it some fucking effort. And I know that sometimes you've said, like, well, the joke is that it's not a good joke. It's like, well, it's not a bad enough joke to seem that way either. You know what I mean? So. What I'm saying is you should hire writers. <laughs> but not right now. Intern. <laughs> we'll get the we'll get the the um the the mid hunter intern to write some jokes. Nate hires a bunch of scabs to write South Dakota jokes because of the WGA strike. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys Fargo? Bismarck, these are North Dakota jokes, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Oil okay. fields. Anyways. <laughs> okay, you ready for a trailer? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I became a billionaire when I was 30 years no. old. That doesn't make me a pushover. Archie Channing is a businessman with a ruthless reputation. Hey! 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 Right now! But all of that is about to change. What are we to do with him? He has no redeeming value whatsoever. They won't let me in heaven. It's too late. It's never too late to change, Archie. They want you to go back as a dog. Why was that a whisper? They said I'll be the only one to be able to see you as you once were. Everyone else will see you as quickly. Call the guards! Call the control! Wow. Wow. What do I do now that I'm Quigley? Your brother, Woodward. I should have helped him. You can still do that. Look, I asked him for help once, and he completely humiliated me. Now, to get out of the doghouse, what can I do? This is something you have to do for yourself. <laughs> He's got one chance to make things right. He saved my life. I think we should keep him. And he's about to discover... Wanna watch my daddy's game? You think he can play with us? The biggest blessings in life... Oh, he's got my game! Where is he going? I don't know, but those are my only copies! ...come in small packages. What are you doing with my games? Your games? The dog brought them in. These games are the best we've ever seen. You folks Bulger. can have a seat then? While well, we have a contract drawn up. <laughs> Gary Busey. What's his name? Curtis. Curtis Armstrong. Armstrong. Curtis Armstrong. Curtis Armstrong. said it. Thank and you. And Oz Perkins. His name is Oz Perkins. He's my very best friend. That's uh, quite a dog you've got who's there. Who's that guy that's not Dak Shepard? Who's that guy? Quigley. Oh, that was great. Uh, yeah. Um, Coke Money, the movie. <laughs> I mean, Busey, what was that, 2008? Hell yeah. Or 2003, yeah, he was doing that for to buy drugs. Wait, does this work? Kill each other. <laughs> um, nice. that's two points for me, man. It was, uh, I mean, obviously talking dog movies, but also it's Busey and the way it's like, it seems so unnecessary just in the story of that trailer like the plot it's like why is he a dog like there doesn't seem to be a reason that he needs to be a dog 
It is also very silly to have a talking dog movie and have it be like a Pomeranian. Right, yeah, like mm-hmm. a cute, fluffy little thing. Like, like it's got to be a golden retriever right. or like a big, you know, like white dopey. They like had it be like the, the smallest weird dog. It's, it's, it's not even like a chihuahua. It's, yeah. Right. <clears throat> I suppose there had already been. They were like, "What dogs?" They're like, "Had yeah, like what dogs haven't talked yet?" <laughs> uh, Deja Tender says Curtis Armstrong recalled an incident where Gary Busey disliked the set of Heaven since it did not look like the Heaven that he saw when he had a near death experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I believe it. Sam, can I tell the Biederman Busey story? Yeah. Do you remember this? Oh my God. So our producer, Jim, before he worked with Whitest Kids, maybe he would include us in this list of people, I don't know. But before he worked with us, uh, he worked with, like, just, I don't know, a string of, like, the most uh, crazy reputation people in Hollywood. He worked on Howard Stern, Rosie O'Donnell, Andy Dick show, and he worked on a show with Gary Busey, and he basically had to babysit Busey. And at one point, um, because Busey was, like, crazy and on drugs and stuff right well i mean also the other part of this is that gary Busey was in a very serious uh motorcycle accident and right uh his near-death experience uh, yeah his near-death death death that was his near-death experience okay he like lost part of his brain like he right 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 right. he he is not right he's not well yeah (laughs) Which, and it's too bad. Uh, but um, so he kind of like well, wandered off set and like he, they needed somebody to watch him. But so Jim kind of had to track him down once when he got off set and he basically like had to like tackle him. And it was in L.A. And as I remember the story that Jim told, like he did that and somebody like a passerby said like that guy's fighting Nick Nolte. <laughs> uh, I forgot <laughs> that funny. one. Yeah. Yes, it was Life with Busey, right? People are asking that. I think that was... Yeah, the- yeah, he was doing... Yeah, it was Life with Busey. But yeah, apparently, like... There was, like, this weird thing that like, where also, like, Busey was, like, afraid of Jim. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, like, they're... Like, he he would not react to anyone, but, like, I think Jim would, like... Whenever Jim would kind of, like, you know, like, buckle down he'd be like oh okay because he's like like you could clearly see he he had some sort of fear of him yeah that's funny yeah. um well two for me for quigley and Jack yeah two gave for it, me for quigley we we'll give it one mm. so four se- wait Jack gave it 67 percent. that's two points right yeah okay yep. okay so that's uh four from us two from chat six points to to who whom Six points going to uh, Oh, hi, Mark. I can't even explain uh, this movie sober, but just imagine Gary Busey if he was a talking dog. So you just explain that movie sober. That's the <laughs> that's what that person did. No, I know it's a context, but that's what I'm saying. It's like they did. They did do that. Oh, uh, somebody uh, submitted one of those uh, recut fake trailers. Don't do that. Anyways, go ahead, Sam. I'm just looking at the list and saw that. All right. Uh, what if it's right, a better go. trailer? It's the it's the it was the Shining thing. Remember how they that one that came out years ago, making the Shining look like romantic comedy. Yeah, it doesn't really count, you know. Yeah, and we've seen it. Guys, that's this old internet. Come on. Yeah. World, right. world men. I'm going to stay on theme here. Yes. Did we watch this in the tour bus? I feel like I know I've seen it. Is that a cat? Four paws, kind of furry. Yep. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Did we get a cat? No. No. Did nice you get a microphone? Oh, oh, I did see a cat. That one. <laughs> Cat butthole. Is that the 1313 house? <laughs> Duffy. Oh, it looks a lot like it. Yeah? Wait, maybe but it is. But there's no address. So, Duffy, what should I do? Wow. You have a really nice house. 
I like cats. Yeah, he's cool, I guess. Me and my dad were actually thinking about getting a cat. New day to start over. Remember this guy was in a Scrooge. You can talk? <laughs> but only once? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think it was. I don't what? Think it was. Did you guys see that? I know there's a cat in here. It was just talking to me. A talking cat? That's just stupid. That's the best you could come up with. I'm a talking cat. <laughs> like I only talk to a person once. How'd they do that? <laughs> I only talk to a person like once. something that the cat dragged in. <laughs> I'm doing it! Keep it loose! Don't fly against the water! I like you taking things seriously. But you don't have to all the time with me. You both talked to a cat, didn't you? And the cat talked back, didn't it? Is That's Eric Roberts. Weird. I love the exclamation point question. The title is really a talking so cat. A talking cat. Like that uh, is so. A lot of people see stuff and say in the Reddit or uh, Whitest Kids Reddit or something like this would be a. This is almost like a Whitest Kids skit. First of all, never say skit. But secondly, normally don't agree. But that I have to say that almost seems like something we would make. You know. What I mean? Like, it's like the title, yeah. at least. You know what I mean? I really do think that I, was the 1313 Mansion, though. Like, no joke. Nate, I think that was it. Nate? Yeah. Nate? Yeah. It was, uh, that was also directed by David Dakota. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, we've seen that yes, many it of is them. Eric Roberts, by the way. It is Eric <laughs> I love that. I love that uh, uh, Nate, like, knows the. The 1313 <laughs> the house, like mansion. right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. We've seen a, a lot of those. It was like a door, and you were like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Abby Sally uh, said 1313, a talking cat. <laughs> That'd be yeah. amazing. G rated movies out of that production house? Okay. G rated G. Uh, I just can't quit Dakota. This is bad. Eric Roberts is voicing a talking cat. Bad. Holy shit. I give that two uh, points. Yeah. But I know I said I would too. stop points, voting points. for. Yeah, thirteen, thirteen movies. That doesn't count, though. I, but I'm saying it's like that. That one yeah. that brought me back. That brought me back. But it's not a thirteen, thirteen movie. True, true. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, that, that's some David Dakota I can get behind. Um, yo, we could get him behind. Are thirteen, thirteen, getting, getting, getting behind. behind? <laughs> that's the name of yeah. one of the movies. Um, I give it two points as well. Uh, I feel like that needs no explanation. Yeah, two points. Um. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's it Probably was really fun. It. I really love the also the the weird twist of I'm a yeah I'm a talking cat, but I can only talk to people once. Yeah, what? <laughs> so it's enough to make you think so you're crazy, weird. and then it never happens again. You're like, no, I swear I talked to that cat. Yeah. People are like, all right, I love it. I love it. Um, cat. Also seem to really like it. So far, it's hovering at three points. We're getting close to three minutes here. Uh, what's up, Doug? Um, I think I'm going to call it. People stop voting. So it's three, three points. So uh, eight point trailer. Oh, Niz Vicious voted no. Tyrannilius voted yes. It's it's dropping in the percentages. So what's the percentage? Now tell us. It's been like 78%. 78%. So, so it's yeah, three it's so it's three th points to them. Uh, that's going to Flange. So that's so yeah, because we each gave it two. So that's eight points going to Flange. Wow. Rich get richer. Oh. Flange is going for his second title win. Um, just a recap of rules that we just made up is you can't win seasons back to back. So last season's winner cannot win this next season. But Flange won the second season. So now it's fair game. Uh, cool. Timmy, you're Timmy? up next. I know, I know, I know. Sorry, there's there's a lot of good ones here, and I'm trying to figure out what I want. Um, well, Flame <laughs> just submitted the last thirteen thirteen movie where I was like, nope, we're not giving points. I'm not doing this anymore, and here I am. Pull me right back in. All right, this sounds. I uh, mean, it, it makes sense. It makes like it's 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 good. 
All right, this uh, struck my fancy. They called him King Kung Fu. Listen, that's a circus wagon, isn't it? Don't they have trap doors in the bottom to help clean the cages? All you got to do is climb up under that wagon and pull the latch on the trap door. That drill will never even see him, much less be able to get at you through the bars. Herman boy, the scoop will be when the gorilla gets loose and goes after her. The gorilla gets loose. <laughs> we'll just put out an APB um, on that. APE. What's, na- what's the name of this movie? The fun-filled film, King Kong <laughs> Fu. <laughs> Peeled me like a banana. I'm asking for gunplay. The mirthful master of <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> masturbate with a gun. It's a strike. Long sport. Oh. Joe Gun goes fight. flying into the Maybe. Smith oh, my God. The same routine. This gorilla truly is the monster master. Holy of the shit! What do we got here? A sissy gorilla, huh? Oh, Great. Uh, do you want to hit the problematic button? Problematic. In itself, does not bring honor. I was gonna say maybe that guy is actually from wherever that supposed to be, but I doubt it. Lady, I'm ordering you to clear. I mean, he said ah, so. Oh, he did. Don't you yeah. Believe in supporting yeah. your local police. Look, Bo. I have to admit, you do know how to have a good time. Time, Captain! Well, you just pay attention to flying this thing. This so fucking John Wayne impression. Yeah. At last, wow. entertainment for the entire family. <laughs> Watch for it at your favorite theater soon. That is a weird looking poster right there. Opening at that is. Look at the jugs on that drawing of the May lady 29. for a kid's movie. <laughs> I said, like, that's the size that they draw the, the monkey. It's a guy in an ape costume. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah. Okay, the context for this says, made by an amateur local news team in Wichita, Kansas. Very bad. <laughs> I disagree very with very bad, but uh, you can uh, tell it's, like, is I wonder if that's true. It seems like that's true, that it was made by, like, a bunch of people. I love... Uh, when a group of people somewhere that's not Hollywood or New York would just get together and be like, hey, we're all best friends. Let's make a movie. You saw a lot of karate clubs do that in the 80s with uh, a lot yeah. of movies that have been rediscovered now, like Miami Connection and uh, or not Connection. Is that what that's called? Anyways, uh, you know, a few other things. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yes. Well, yeah, that's, that that's actually, I think I might have told this story before, but the guy who directed uh wild style which is sort of the precursor to movies like crush groove and yeah yeah uh was like a new york film student who was making money by getting together karate clubs in the bronx and being like hey let's like make a movie and then we can sell tickets in the bronx and like like rent out a theater and we'll make money off of the tickets and you know, like, uh, and he had this idea of making a, a graffiti movie, and it was a movie that incorporated graffiti and hip hop and DJs and break dancing and basketball. And before that, there really wasn't anything that was like, oh, this is the culture. Mm, and yeah. so th- that movie, I think, did a, a lot for for kind of putting those things in the context together. Thank you to Principal Rolls uh, for resubbing and 17, but like just 17 uh, resubbing. And BSP Bra says, Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing terrible. 17, but like just, just 17. Yeah. What is that from? <laughs> I don't that, know. That's pretty good. That's a is good that name. from our show? Is is that that, from, is I that feel like that, that, that one Darren sketch where oh, the Darren's giraffe sketch. Yeah, I think so. I'm sure the person is like, oh, they don't know what it is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Caleb Love's I, I, Lunch says, Timmy, your hair looks great. That's true. I do love when um, people have like real deep cut usernames or something of White is Good stuff. And you guys. Right. Don't, We're like, what the fuck are you it? talking about? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Principal Rose says, yes, to the Darren Giraffe sketch. All right. Mystery solved. So, um, I mean, two points for me. No, no, no problem. Chat's yeah, two only, points. No, chat's totally. giving it two. All right. 
Nathaniel, if you give it one, I'm going to leave the show. Right really? Now. This is the hill you're going to die on for back. this? Really? Well, I mean, uh, how's it Kung not? Kung Fu trailer? No, I'm giving it two points. It was super weird. Um, yeah. It was all over the place. Was, uh, yeah. it's, it was a surprise. I was going to say, I mean, it, you just but had really, to look in don't your face. Draw, don't draw the, the line on this movie. Well, first of all, again, not fucking serious, but also like when you looked for a second, like you were going to give this two points. And I was like, I didn't want to know. I I know that this is a two point eight trailer. I mean, you know, so anyways, (laughs) we got seven points for this one. Is that the thing? Correct. We're moving on. Seven points going to Trapper. Hey, Trapper. Cool name. Ready? Yeah. After this one, um, should we do my collection? Or no, what we each wait, this is a second. Yeah, okay. After this one, we'll I'll, I'll we'll take a break. I'll show my recent purchases. Because they fit into this. Oh hell yes. Stop eating your popcorn and be quiet! Or I'll zap you! Everybody, but everybody is coming to see Puffin Stuff. Oh my god, yes. Baby, I'm alive and living just for you. So there's been two Brand problematic points so far. <laughs> well, there was a rat Nazi and then some One suspiciously year, tribal baby. guys. Wait, a rat Nazi? Hold on. I, yeah. I was, all right. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said anything. I hate it when we rewind. Stop okay. eating your popcorn and be quiet or I'll zap you. Everybody, but everybody. It didn't have a swap scope, but you'll see. Stuff. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then those guys. See? Okay. Oh. Baby, I'm alive and living. There's so much going on, though. I, I yeah, totally yeah, I know. Get I, don't, I don't fault you for not noticing. <laughs> oh, man, I love it when a movie says it's a brand new movie. One year in the making. You yeah, are most movies. What? You the Hold on. Musical fantasy since The Wizard of Oz. Okay. Starring Jack Wilde, the artful dodger of Oliver. What is he holding? Is that a Hitachi magic wand? Uh, a ma- magic flute. You don't know about HR Billy Puff and stuff? I think Sam and I... Well, I mean, you're not that much older than us, but I know that this was a thing for people my age to get stoned and watch this on like, VHS. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to save it, lady. It's too nice to let it get scarred. Fire! Fire! The cats will not fire! Get out of this chicken outfit! Hello! Maximus! Please! Oh, no. Somebody! Anybody! It's the worst catastrophe than I thought! It looks like the witch captured everybody! Oh, Jimmy! It's horrible! <laughs> what are we gonna do? What was the the Mr. Show sketch? Oh my god, that was oh, so... that's the only reference I have for this is the Mr. Show that's sketch. So yeah. Dude, what was that called? It was so good. The color. Man, I've got the Mr. Show collection on DVD. I should have watched through it again. It's so fantastic. And this is Sid and Mary Croft. Uh when I was smaller and people were taller. Mama Chaos. I realized that Great I voice. was different. I had a power. The altered state of drug Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspired oh, Jesus. by the TV oh. show that Life magazine called. They also the did uh, Sigmund the Sea Monster. Yeah. That's the second Wizard of Oz uh, yeah. reference. Yeah, they made some pretty haughty claims in this Everybody trailer. Will love Timmy, do you see that in the back? This the background, the there's someone puppets. who's like a stone door. Oh it looks my god. exactly like, like the like costumes? doors that we played. Oh in, my god. Uh, fat guy stuck in the internet? Fat guy yeah. stuck in the internet. Yeah. Um, so I, there's one boast they made there that I really think needs to be mentioned where they said, a year in the making. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Movies yeah. take a fucking year to make, sometimes two or three. Why, why that's Damn, not they, this interesting. This is 1970. They were just cranking them out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, and they already had all that stuff made because they were already making the TV show. Um, I'm going to give it 
two points because it's a great trailer and there was uh, something for everybody in that one. The context yeah. says they keep comparing it to Wizard of Oz, then they show a Nazi rat driving a witch around on a flying machine. Also, it's full of that late 60s, early 70s WTF feel to it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, uh, I recently watched the the Abominable Doctor Fibes for the first time, which is a horror movie starring Vincent Price from the early seventies, and it's really weird. And it's just the the this period of film, and this falls in that too, puff and stuff. They just knew how to be uncomfortably weird better than like any other era. I feel like it's just so. When I see a weird seventies movie, it's always so much weirder than a weird movie from other times. You know what I mean? I agree. Um, anyways, I give it two points. I got to pee and make sure my kids are asleep. I'll be right back. I'm surprised more people in chat are not 100% behind this. I'm I'm behind it. Uh, two points for me. Um, this seems like some real big trailer boy stuff. You know, like, I, I, I figured a lot of people would be some like, big this is a TB energy in this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, All right. What are we? Whose turn is it? Or wait, did um, we just finish giving that one the points? No, I, uh, I, I have to give it two points. It was fucking weird. Yeah. Um, Chat gave it two points. I gave Give it two. Sam, two points. Okay. So, so that's uh, seven. Who gets them? Whose trailer was that? Sam, was that you? Nate, that was you. No, that was me. me. <laughs> Silent Ally. That uh, was me. Uh, yeah, Silent Alley. Seven points. Wait. Uh, how did somebody get eight points already? Oh, wait, no, they got three points. That's it. Never mind. All right, no, we it. have an eight pointer. We got an eight I, pointer. I understand. I understand. Okay. All right. Uh, Timmy, are Sam. we doing your thing? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you want to, or should we do um, another round of trailers? We what, Whatever. And okay. I've got a trailer if you if you want to oh, do a trailer. We'll do it when somebody has the trailer. Play. All right. Um, That's Nate saying he wants to skip it because he doesn't like it when I talk about stuff. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Nate hates me, you guys. Uh, hold on one second. Let me just. I'll do this one. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Studio logo gets two points. The this is quiet. Song. Sorry, guys. Yeah, really quiet. Yippee! Little me. A boy who commands an entire universe from his own bed. Nemo's best friend is Icarus, a flying squirrel, whose loyalty to his young master will lead him into another world. A world of fantastic flying machines, incredible architecture, and characters destined to become favorites of young and old. There's King Morpheus, who reigns peacefully over a land of pleasant dreams. That's not Morpheus. No, I don't see an inch of leather on him. And Professor Genius, Nemo's mentor and guide to slumber. Professor Penius? The Princess Camille is eagerly Genius. Oh. Princess Camille, Nemo's special friend in the kingdom. Special friend. And then there's Flip, Nemo's mischief making Then there's Flip. Definitely not a racist caricature. I'm frightfully funny, <laughs> frightfully friendly, and I can make your dreams come true. There are many other marvelous mystical characters in Slumberland. The Oompas who help Nemo learn the ways of Slumberland. Nemo's journey takes him to the treacherous land of nightmares. With the aid of the magical royal scepter, Nemo must free the king and his beloved princess from the terrifying Nightmare King and destroy the evils of Nightmare Land. Little Nemo will touch the hearts of children everywhere in the summer of 1992 with its nationwide U.S. theatrical release, 
Come mm -hmm. join us for the ride of your life. It's originally it's uh, anime, right? I think so. Yeah. Hooprite says Little Nemo on the NES. I didn't know there was a cartoon. Well, it's all based on the very old uh, French comic strip, right? Isn't it French? Or no, maybe it's an American comic strip. I can't remember. But a very old comic strip uh, that ran as a serial in newspapers called Little Nemo in Dreamland. I've never seen the movie. I've read some Slumber of the old Land? comics. There you go. That's what they. Uh, oh, is Dreamland something else? I mean, they were saying no, Slumberland. Slumberland. You're right. Uh, nope. You're right. Um, I like that one point where one of the characters like, "Did you take her to Slumberland?" Yeah. <laughs> hey, There's a little, take her little to Slumberland weird. Little bit with of weird your special friends there. I like yeah. to take my special friends to Slumberland. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, that does not hitting sound right. Skins. Well, somebody it's said a, in the chat. It sounds a little worse again. than hitting the scrim. The skins. Yeah, hitting the scrims. The, <laughs> the scrims. The Angus Ugh. scrims. I want you to fuck me, boy. Anyways, <laughs> that's the one for the phantasm heads out there. Uh, Cosby is the final boss at Slumberland. Yes, that's, that's kind of what I was. <laughs> oh man. Bill, uh, did you take your special friend to Slumberland? Yeah, bro. And now I have to go to jail. Oh, you mean this reporter? Yeah. <laughs> you mean my lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, I thought that I... It, it wasn't, like, a great trailer as far as, like, the structure of the trailer or, like, the, the stuff that it sh showed us, like, the 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 way it was edited together but i love the the style of the movie itself yeah and the animation's gorgeous yeah it, it was like outrageous. really really <laughs> fun to look at and uh i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a two for that because i thought it was it's a really unique movie um i thought like the the point like the direction of the trailer, I didn't, it was weird. It was almost like a sales pitch. Like it, it yeah. feels like one of those trailers that they send to video stores, you know, which I usually yeah. like. Um, but uh, I mean, the it looked interesting. It looked weird as a movie. I bet it's weird, but as a trailer, I'm going to have to give it one point because I, I just felt it wasn't really giving. Yeah. It didn't super grab me, but again, beautiful animation. I'm going to give it one. So that's three from us. And what did chat say? They're giving chat it a solid it one. one. Okay. So four points to whom? Uh -huh. Zach Spiker says, what's the thing where someone can usurp the trailer? Well, you can challenge if you have a better version of it, but we really haven't had a challenge in a while. Do you have that a challenge, was... Zach? That was eight. That was uh, live long and prosper. Oh, Domino's. F oh, oh wait, no. Zach Spiller um, saying someone should challenge, but I don't know if anyone else submitted this movie. So no, no, I don't think so. It's gonna Who's be something points? somebody already submitted. It's gonna yeah. be on the list where we have a. Dollar. So that was okay. live live long and prosper gets With, four uh, points. Okay, cool. I've got the next one ready to go. This goes out All to. Right. This goes out to Darren Trumeter. Oh, I know which one it is. Yep. We appear to have lost communication with the rocket. Expansion chambers prime for impacts. What's the chances of this happening? We're plumb out of ideas. Ned Beatty's in this? We oh, need man. a miracle. All right, then. The United States Space Center are on a constant search throughout the world to seek out children with gifts. That's why they came and found me. And that's why they found you, too. From the director of the Smash. Thank you, Mr. President. Comes what? an adventure that will blow you away. They didn't just jump for everybody else, too. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. God. Starring Rupert Grin from Harry Watch Potter. Watch trailers. You're going to be a spaceman. 
and introduced oh, that's Rupert Rupert Grant. as Patrick yeah. Smash. We have Patrick and Owen, the team. Get ready to reach for the stars as two best friends take one giant leap. We have Thunderpants. Genius. Why do they call them Thunderpants? Well, why All is right. that not in the movie or the trailer? Yeah. I'm not giving that any points Zero. because they don't explain why they call them Thunderpants. Which is why in the reason, which was explained on the back of the DVD that was at a truck stop or a Best Buy when Darren bought it on tour. Sam, you want to, you can say it. So you go ahead. No, no. I, it, the, the, he's like a fart kid. I don't know. Yeah, the fact he like, powers a spaceship with his farts, right? Oh, he powers, all right, that's what it is? Okay. But I remember I, the movie. I, I knew it had something yeah. with, like, farts. Yeah. He had Crohn's, apparently. <laughs> um. <laughs> but it's, like, funny Crohn's. Yeah. He's missing part of his intestines. Uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, buttercream magic Nazi thunderpants. <laughs> yeah, they they don't say anything about the farting, right? Oh, I yeah. forgot to put the poll up. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, that's I didn't understand. It's right in the explanation in the uh, synopsis on uh, IMDb. An eleven-year-old boy's amazing ability to break wind leads him first to fame and then to death row. That's Before it helps him to fulfill his ambition becoming an astronaut. Yeah, that wasn't in the trailer either. But uh, the IMDb page has a better trailer, it looks like. So IMDb. Oh, yeah, they even show the... the I just looked up at IMDb and they're auto-playing a trailer that shows all the fart stuff. So that's too bad. Uh, maybe they didn't want to show everything in the trailer. They're like, we don't want to blow our load. So you got to uh, at least show the thing that gives your movie the name. But this is another point to say, watch your trailers. Because also that one was saying something, then it skipped or something. So, you know, watch your trailers. Uh, yeah, what, it, who, what did the guy that directed Thunder, Thunderpants direct? I think that's what it was saying. Um, Yeah, it was like not uh, nobody. Peter Hewitt, who I think has directed some other stuff. Oh, he directed Bogus Journey! Oh. Which is one of my favorite movies. Uh, Garfield, the the uh, he did that right after Thunderpants. He also directed Zoom, which was the when Tim Allen. Saw... Very, we watched that on tour also. Zoom or Sky High? Zoom. We watched okay. Zoom on. Well, this guy also directed Z- Tom and Sky Hunt. High is much better than Sky Zoom. Sky High is way better. Way. Yeah, yeah. This guy also directed Tom and Huck, the one that was a. Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas as Tom Sawyer and uh, Brad Renfo as Huck. Wow. R.I.P. Wow. He died? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, chat resoundingly did not like this one. Was that suicide? The drugs. What could be suicide? Drug. Is that one point? Oh, no, they're not done voting. Okay. Yeah. I, I oh, he also directed Home Alone, ho- The Holiday Heist. Oh wow. Um yeah, I'll give uh, that uh I mean, I'll give it 0 over 2 because yeah. It's like hello. Yeah. Nate, what about you? Um I I mean, I didn't really like here's the thing. I didn't understand Thunderpants. You guys telling me this stuff that's not mm-hmm. in there. I'm like, that's what I wanted to see. So Go far, to IMDb and watch that trailer. It looks great. But sorry. Is anyone challenging? But um No. Uh let me see. The challenge graphic wasn't working. Oh. There we go. That one that one worked. We're challenging ourselves. Uh no, no, no. I was just trying to test to see if Are it worked. I don't know why it wasn't working. Okay. Um so chat right now is barely giving it they're just over the line to give it zero. Oh wow. Uh yeah, I'm I'm kind of with chat. Zero all around, man. Fuck them. All right. Well, I hope this doesn't turn this person off of submitting, but uh give it another shot next time. Make sure you watch your trailer first. But that is zero points. 
Now, hold on. Good effort. Good effort. And, and the handle, this person's screen handle is uh, really great. All right. So that is zero points to Horny Baloney 69. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should throw in another one for their name. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> That's a good name. It is a good name. Horny Baloney 69. <laughs> Uh, whose turn is it? That was mine, so it'd be your turn next. That is my turn. All right. Five. Okay. Ooh, interesting. All right. All right. Uh, sorry, let me get rid of the poll here real quick. Uh, yeah, chat gave that zero points. There's a lot of good stuff this week. And there I mean, are. There's some good ones. It's easy to not be TOS this week, too. Yeah. Oh, man. I saw a lot of people submit this one. What's the deal? Now, for the oh. first time, through the oh, magic of Claymation, the best love characters of America's greatest storyteller come to life. It's the adventures of Mark Twain. I go to meet the comet. It's Tom Sawyer. This has like a um, Moonraker. No, what was uh, that Michael and Jackson Walker? Moonwalker, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was like, uh, if that Shipping animation sequence was done by the same people. Voyage. It's gotta be. Um, I believe it was. From the Mississippi. This, uh, I think Will Venton, he did the California the race. Milky Way. Let's catch it. Aye, aye. Explorers. On a remarkable ride to faraway places. Far gone times. Oh. And far out creatures. Hello. Adventurers on a breathtaking trip into the heart of Haley's Comet. What? Come. Join them on their quest for come. fun. Come. I'm getting out of here. Danger. And excitement. Come, share the adventures Yahoo! of Mark Twain. The yeah. first feature film in the magic of claymation that will make you believe in imagination. Sustain. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I was on board until the last three seconds. Fucking had some very uh, heavy Terry Gilliam vibe, you know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, did I know Mark Twain wrote about time travel? Uh, and get yanked in King Arthur's court. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did. Did he write about space travel? I don't think so. He did write a road trip movie. Uh, Tom and Huck get in a hot air balloon. It's not a road trip movie, but like a the traveling around the world in a hot air balloon movie. Uh, he wrote that. Jesus Christ. He wrote a book where Tom and Huck <laughs> are in movie. a hot air balloon. Yeah. <sighs> he did write the book Star Wars is based on. Yes. Which is called War of the Stars. Yeah. <laughs> called uh, the hidden fortress uh yeah that next generation episode with mark twain is fucking great anybody watching the new season uh, of picard because it is cool no i'm not watching it's pronounced picard you gotta john, john look picard i thought it was pictured <laughs> Yeah, because they were going to originally make that show about his son and call, call it Son of a Pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dad. Uh, get, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Get uh, Pichard slapped. <laughs> what would you think of Adventures right. of Mark Twain? Because I thought I, it was weird. 
I thought it was very weird. I would give it two points. Like, Claymation's cool, man. You know? Yeah. That's I definitely that's a drugs movie. Cool. Claymation, California Raisins. California Raisins are cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's some funny moments to it. So uh, two points for me. Yeah, I, gotta give it I two liked it when the narrator well. just goes, come. I, I, I do. Yeah. Mythic says was, oh, sorry, go ahead. What, Nate? No, no, no. I was I, I, I was going to get into some Trek talk, but I'll save it for my stream. I don't want to go too off the rails and Trailer yes. Boys with my Trek talk. But uh, guess, follow me, Nate uh, was, Blackest. We'll talk about Trek. Was Mark Twain a racist? I'm going to say, I mean... I don't I mean, think, I mean, the, if you're asking because of the language in the Huck book, he did that on for a reason. You know, he was trying to point out how fucked up that was and kind of like how people were, you know, kind of casually saying this stuff, not thinking about what it means. And then at the end of the book, Huck thinks about it and decides not to say it anymore. Yeah. I, I feel it's tough says, too because you could say... Mark Twain wasn't a racist for his time, but right. for today, but, if he was around, like saying things, he'd be like, "Ooh," and he'd be yeah, like, "Yeah, they're probably racist," things. you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like how people are like, yeah, "Oh, but, Abe Lincoln was a great but, emancipator." He also didn't think white people and black people should get married, so you know. But, uh, but you could also say that uh, that Mark Twain was uh, a fucking. If he was around today, he'd be a fucking idiot because. He'd not know how to drive a car or use a phone. Yeah, man. Or there'd be so much shit. He'd be like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, he'd be watching this show with <laughs> us and be like, what are the Ninja Turtles? I don't understand that parody. It's like, fuck you, yeah. Mark. Uh, yeah, you're I, I was, and you know what? I'd be, you know what I'd say? I'd say, Mark, you make me ashamed of people named Sam. You know, like I already, I know a great Sam and don't fuck up my, because his real name was Sam, right? Like, Sa- and you Sam be alone. Like, yeah. Do you know, do you know the story that, about his biography, his autobiography? Yeah. The huge ass thing. I've never read it. It was, it's gigantic, but he was like, uh, I, this can't be published until like a hundred years yeah. after I die. That's pretty Because <laughs> I want everyone that I write about to be dead. Exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. Um, Spoontree says, just like we'll be racists of the past and the future. Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. just like Smith's I'm, comedy shows from like 15 years ago, or <laughs> some people, some well, people it's have like, issues uh, with. A, a couple weeks ago, when I was playing Doom or whatever, and I got on, like, the guy dropped the hard R in chat, and I was like, well, you know, yes, we, you know, I know that we use the language, da 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 da. I kind of went about it, but it's like, yeah, don't do it here, man. It's like, you don't, it's like, you don't do that, you know? And um, we wouldn't do that anymore either if we were to make the show again. So, people's changes. Anyways, huh? People's changes. Well, yeah, and time changes, you know, it gets to a point where, uh, you know, for people, you know, in that example, uh, people that are, marginalized and downtrodden slowly get more of a, a, a voice and can say, Hey, this is not cool for us. And w- people generally say, okay, you know, uh, yourself. someone stop it. Yeah. Someone mentions how Justin Long says the F slur in barbarian, which came out, you know, last mm-hmm. year. Um, and this is just like, something is that, uh, uh, little trivia justin long was like i think this goes too far and zach said i think this doesn't go far enough and he said i wish i could say more and then (laughs) and then apparently he started yelling the all the other words that you (laughs) describe by just saying their first letter Yeah, all the worst ones you can think of, <laughs> <laughs> and some you can't think of because you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so what would okay, you give the Adventures the of Mark Twain, everybody? I gave it two. two. I liked it. I give it two, Sam. Uh, two. So that's right. five so points that's from us and two points two from, from chat. chat. That's seven points. Uh, this was submitted a bunch, but I picked Butterfly Beulah. Beulah. She does it. The uh, that was the first one, right? I think that was the first submission of that one. It's because you can look at the dates, you know. So I'm not. I'm choosing at random. I have a random number generator. Oh. 
If one got if I I know that, but I'm just saying for the ones that are submitted a bunch, I like to pick the person who did it first. You know. Well, I'm not saying you have to, but you did, so don't worry about it. Um. Okay, uh, it is my turn, and I thought I had one picked out, and I don't remember what I was going to do. I thought it was my turn. Sam's turn. Who just went? I went. Oh, then it's Sam's turn. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I did not know about this. I haven't heard of this, and this looks interesting. Sam, we're... Why? You don't like me? No, he... Sam keeps moving, so it's really oh. hard to uh, keep him framed up. I've got a wide range. This kid just made his parents like shoot a movie for him. They're smoking cigars. Wait, what? They evaporated that kid. Oh, yes. He's got the Pizza Hut Back to the Future 2 sunglasses. Yes, Timmy, yeah. we had those. I was just talking to Margaret about that. I said, man, when, like in the late 80s, early 90s, Pizza Hut had some kick-ass promotional stuff. Those this, and the land, the this land before trailer came out. This trailer huh? came out in 1986, before so, Back to the Future 2. So what are those sunglasses? They're just, just cool sunglasses. There they are again. They look so much like those, though, right? Yeah, I mean they're probably the what they modeled those glasses. Right. After. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, that looked a little weird. That shot looked like those kids were gonna fuck. <laughs> he has the the uh his quiver he wears it on the front yeah well, now available on home video is it um <laughs> somebody find that yeah dude okay first of all the trailer was a little too long okay fine but no doubt no talking just music hell yeah you know what i mean that also are you saying hell yeah really Nate, shut the fuck up. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, like, the only reason, um, like, I was watching this and I'm like, I'm going to petition these guys to give it the fucking Unite the Seal bonus point. I was oh, like, yeah. this yeah. is it. Yeah. But I, I wanted some dialogue. And so uh, I don't know, like, the lack of dialogue bummed me out. Oh, my God. Can I? I don't, well, I mean, I don't. I don't want to screw things up, but I just looked it up on IMDb and the poster. That's good. <laughs> Anyways, um, I uh, I don't know because we, you know, I mean, I know it would probably be funny to hear the kids saying these lines, but just the imagery just sold it. Oh, someone says this is unrated, not G-rated. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna let let it slide for this one. It looks like. Uh, not like stop being such a narc. Waste. Not a that shit. Does it even qualify for the theme? What? I mean, yes. the thing is, 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 is there's movies before this that I would have like checked if they were G rated. That I, I feel like I assumed it was G rated, but yeah. yeah, I think it's fine, right? What I think this think? this seems more on theme than other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, movies, but uh, I'll say this too: is is you know, like this movie looked like someone saw Bugsy Malone and was like, "I want to make that movie, but I'm not going to use those 
pussy ooze blasters. I'm gonna. The kids in this one are gonna use fucking guns. Yeah. <laughs> and that's awesome. Uh. Wow, there's some people who are not happy about it not being rated. Because Punish Walrus says, so wait, we could have submitted PG movies if they seem G rated. Crisco says, normally I would agree on Wiggle Room, but it should have to be G rated, or what's the point? I mean, I bet some of the, the trailers we've already watched are PG rated, but I'm I, I'm just not being like this. Didn't seem like it wasn't G rated. It, it definitely seemed like a kids movie, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's so- I don't know. That got three points from chat, and if you look in chat right now, our, our, our chat can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I put, I did put the poster up. Oh, here. I can see it. Yep. Yeah, that's the poster. Yeah, it's good. Wait, let me see. Look at the wow. screen. Your head, yeah, Sam. man. <laughs> Sam, move to your left. Lean to your left. That's a, that's a great poster. <laughs> the one time Sam's not moving. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> But Timmy's also in front of the poster. No, I, I was Oops, trying I to the wrong move way. the poster in, in between you guys if you keep moving. Uh, oh. yeah, there, there we go. go. So that's it. Look at all the little kids at the bottom. I mean, that's maybe right. it is I, PG. I don't know. No, it, it's unrated. But I, I, I know, but I'm saying like with guns and stuff, I guess it'd be more PG than G, but I don't know. Whatever. Two points. But yeah. Two points for me. Two points for me. <clears throat> um, that's uh, five next plus three. That's eight points. Who gets them? Dang. Uh, eight points going to... Uh, Nick J56K. Hey. Nicky J56K. 56K modem. Uh, Nikki J fifty six K. Okay, yeah. All right. Timmy. Yeah. Uh, should, we, should we do Timmy's bit? Oh yeah, let's do Timmy's bit. Okay, everybody. Hi, I'm. We're Timmy still looking William. for a title for Timmy's bit. Yeah, because secret stash. Uh, I told Nate before Sam. Uh, he's called it secret stash just off cuff a couple times. I don't agree with being associated with kevin smith so um oh yeah anyways He's i'm crippling a, addiction i'm a yeah i like that you know what it could be uh timmy's intervention but it's not really intervention timmy's reverse intervention i don't know anyways uh you just how about, how about this on, tim timmy's private browsing timmy's private browsing <laughs> uh okay i'm gonna switch to a non-green screen camera boink i'm gonna go okay. get a drink <laughs> Fine. Okay, so uh, for people not knowing what this is, uh, I am addicted to collecting physical media, and uh, every once in a while I get new. Well, I get new ones a lot, but I've slowed down this year a little bit. But uh, anyway, so I got a couple recently. Oh, I wanted Sam to be here because he's gonna like what happens. But um, anyways, I can tell him again. So uh, a, a, a label in Britain called Indicator, they do a lot of good stuff where they find old, old generally older movies and put them out. But um, they had a, a sale where they, they're each only a couple bucks. So I got The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, which I haven't seen yet, but I'll be watching that with my daughter. And it's rated U, which means Universal, which is Britain's version of G rating. So someone could have shown this trailer. But it's Ray, Ray Harryhausen, the famous stop motion guy, and it's got that skeletons with sword fight in it that everyone's seen clips of. You know, so there's that one. Um, there's another Ray Harryhausen one. This is based on a Jules Verne book, Mysterious Island, also a G rated or U rated movie, which I haven't seen, but it looks fucking cool. That's a good cover, you know what I mean? So, and then continuing the theme of G rated movies, I they I also got Body Double. So, I feel that's this a joke. No, that's a joke. <laughs> based on that, based on the cover yeah. of that, I've never heard and of it's it. But directed um, by Brian, it's Brian De Palma. So, looks you know, like a guy tweaking a woman's nipple. Uh, he's looking in through the uh, blinds. He's like creeping on her. You know, 
Uh, doesn't it kind of look like he's grabbing her nipple, though? It does a little bit, yeah. Uh, that's Brian De Palma. You know, he's all about voyeurism, you know. Uh, and you wanted Sam to see that one? Yeah, because he would have appreciated the joke of saying that was a kid's movie, but that's okay. Because <laughs> he knows what other movies are. You know? Oh, oh, Timmy. Well, someone in chat said, well, no, you know, I don't actually get down on anybody for not seeing a movie. I haven't even seen it yet either. That's my guy. But uh, uh, Dark Bastard, uh, one or two people said Nate's ha- hasn't heard a body double, but, you know. Uh, yeah, it's I haven't okay, heard buddy. a body double. I don't, don't worry about it. It's okay, man. What is all that noise? What's happening? What are you eating? Uh, who's eating? Are you guys eating stuff? Sam, did you, were you here for my joke or no? Nope. All right. I'll show you real quick. You uh, finally here, did it. What? You finally made a joke. Oh, <laughs> Sam. With I'm the excited. Funny. Sam I'm with excited. the funny shit. Real funny shit, Sam. Uh, <laughs> wait, are we back on me? Okay, Sam. No, these are the three movies I showed that I got. I got The Mysterious Island, which is, you know, Rated U, which is Britain for British the version of G, right? Mysterious Island. Doesn't count for this week. Why? Because it's, it's rated U, not G. Yeah. <laughs> Universal. Anyways, so I got that. I got this, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. And then continuing the theme, uh, body double. Mm. That was my joke because body double is not for kids. Well, anyways. Um, Caleb loves lunch, says Sam has nothing on Timmy. I have everything on Timmy. You have you no do? idea. Like what? I have everything. Yeah? Oh, I got to change my camera back. Uh, uh like what the camera i got my i got my green screen going before you do uh i got well the technically I no because i was here before you style i got grace i got smarts hold on I hold got on charisma i got the whole package baby yo i love you so much you have style you have charisma you are smart but sam you you can't call yourself graceful. Nate and I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not graceful. I, I'm not graceful either. But I've seen you run into things. And I've run into things. Like, you know what? There's no grace happen. And Nate's I'm I, Nate's not graceful either. You know, we're not graceful people. That's always been on purpose. <laughs> Man. Pratt Pratt Falls. Talk this about committing committing to the bit <laughs> <sighs> okay Timmy, but it's Sam your run a marathon I suppose it takes grace to run a marathon no hmm. it takes definitely a, a a love of torture right yeah okay so uh it's my turn yes and uh, yeah, we got to do this one. <clears throat> okay. Sam, are you saying, t- uh, Timmy, are you saying Sam doesn't have grace because he fell down all those stairs that one time? Welcome to another. No, that didn't really happen. I'll meet your candidate. We're going to meet Willoughby Daniels. Daniels, I want oh, you to is this not a race. real trailer? No way, Mr. District Attorney. I'm I, th- I think this is an, an a new Disney act. trailer. We'll call a okay. grand jury investigation into your criminal connections in this town. Everybody's got a skeleton in their closet. Get something on them. Daniels is a dog, huh? That's right. Sometimes Daniels is a real live dog. Are they going to show the clip? Does. One of the greatest. That ring is, is floating shots. around someplace, and if somebody reads the inscription, I'm a shaggy dog again. Is this the ring you were looking for? It says in Canis Capara Transmuto. Grab that dog! I shout it! to get Slade and Roshock before they get me, and you're gonna help me. I'm going to need the help of every squad car that's available to find him. Wolf, wolf! That's him, that's Daniels! Don't let him get away! Let me get this straight. He was driving. Then he 
smashed up the truck. With Tim Conway? And he jumped over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> it is an actual Disney trailer. That's it's crazy. A, uh, to me. No, up there it says unofficial official trailer. Oh. I would assume this is not actually put out by Disney. Sorry. Um, well, it mm. says it's it's on the Disney Plus YouTube channel. All right. It's on the Disney Plus YouTube channel. Yeah, man. So that's, it must that's, be. Seems officially. Legit. Yeah, We've seems seen. Legit. But they call it. It says on the title of the video, unofficial official trailer. So I don't know. Well, we've seen the official trailer and it blew my mind. That debuted in our first tournament. Um, oh, okay. And it stuck with me. That original trailer is crazy. Did it have the punching in it? Yeah. I didn't know there was a thing about a ring and an inscription, though. That's not in the original yeah. trailer. So yeah. that was kind of a surprise. Well, you know, there's a series of these movies. Uh, the Shaggy Dog is the first one, I think. And I think they somehow tie into the old Flubber movies. <laughs> the 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 Sh- Does Professor. he go to law school? I thought this, this, this series was the Shaggy DA, the Clean Cut DA, the Shaved DA. Um, and then the Cancel the DA because he grabs a waitress's ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, Sam? Sorry. No, I was just doing doing a bit, you know. Well, sorry, I was, I was adding on to it, but I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. You crushed it. Uh, okay. Park Chan Wook definitely made the strangest adaption of this movie, adaptation of this movie. I think that's a joke, but I don't I don't know Park Chan Wook, mm. but I'm highlighting it because I feel that's something Timmy would know. No. A waxed uh, DA. Uh, I'm trying to think. Are they saying old boy is somehow that or I don't know what else. Uh, I can't think of all of his movies off the top of my head, but I get it. Old dog, old boy, good uh, old boy, old good boy, <laughs> old good boy, <laughs> old good boy. Um, Maybe you know, another boy, one of his yeah. movies. We don't know about it. Um, I'm old boy say, was a joke. Okay, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna give this one because uh, I, I like the transfer. It looked good. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, I, I prefer the trailer we saw before. Yeah, I agree. It was a very like MCU trailer of it. I kind of wish it had like, did the thing where it had a cover song that was like a, an epic feeling version of another yeah. song. Yeah. You know? Like a, like a slowed, like, uh, yeah. But like really yeah. un- nonsensical, like, and I say, what about? Breakfast at Tiffany's. Or be like, don't get it. Who? Who let the dogs <laughs> out? <laughs> don't. Who? Who? Oh, who? Who? Don't. Who let, who the, let the dogs, dogs out? Uh, okay, so I, I give it. I didn't like the thi- the thing. Wait, I didn't Lady like Petunia the new challenging. Shit. Oh. Is that a real challenge? Mm. Is she going to drag out the real one or what? I don't know. She stopped talking. The ten- Maybe she got shy. Zach Spiker says, Dog Eat Dog by Weird Al, which was Weird Al's, not an actual parody, but a style parody of Talking Heads. Yes, that's a good... It's dog eat dog. Um. Anyways, I give it. I didn't like the the new parts. The the I, I the joke was okay of of that, but I don't know. But I'll give it one. You know. But I mean, the the stuff going on in the trailer was good, man. I'll give it two. That the final answer two two points. Um, I'm I'm giving it one because we've seen a better trailer of this before. Yeah. That's three um, for us. But- but I, I think it is like an official redone trailer. It's not like a fan made trailer. Right, right. Uh, and I like that about it. Um, cool. Um, I um, am going to give this one point as well. Didn't yeah, you already, already said that. that? Oh, sorry, sorry. Chat gave it one point. Four points to Away Stork Away. Okay. 
Uh, Ryan Scott Atkins says, can we move past the dog shit? Man, <laughs> do you know where you fucking are right now? Well, Timmy, there was one time where we were like, we were going to do a, a talking animals or like an animals episode. And it was, I think, 99% dog stuff. Right. Uh, it's just but the also, content is there, you know? It's too what was, yeah. Wasn't there was also, like an air kids- bud about a wrestler? <laughs> that was a good one. But also, like, why does kids in general, we, we are very pro-talking dog. I mean, we it's, we wear that shit on our sleeve, you know? Um, all right, I'm ready for my next one. I'm surprised this came up in the random number generator, but I this, is, this was a random pick, so uh-uh. um, here we go. <laughs> I think I know what this one is. Okay. Before they were rock stars. Before they were famous, before they were adored by thousands by... and thousands of crazy yes. fans around the world, Nat and Alex Wolf were naked. My music has evolved a lot since then. Sam, this is that ladies' kids, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And one of them is the, the Naked Brothers Band movie available kid from Fault in Their Stars. Hereditary. You can join the brothers as they what? soar up the charts. Oh, wow. Learn about yeah. love. I think that all kid, okay, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's the kid from Hereditary. Life, because wow. fame is better when it's with your I'll best friends. All hail the king. The Naked Brothers Band movie DVD includes slam and special features, including the music video for Crazy Car, behind-the-scenes footage, music and video for bonus Crazy Car. Movie. So grab your guitar you and wail away no? with the Naked Brothers Band so, movie. So, Nate, did you watch this on Mid-Hunters? Real Brothers. Real music. It's free Not dates, really Mid-Hunters. Oh, but you watched it on stream. Yeah, yeah, we did watch this. And you know what? It's not bad. I bet it's pretty good. Uh, it's funny. Those kids are, B- are, are funny. Makes you old. Beachhead makes you old said, Crazy Car is such a heater. <laughs> it is. I, I like the one about um, girls that the, the, the rival band had. That was a good one, too. Um. So our connection to it is that when we shot... Uh, a well, Sam and, and Zach and Trevor put together a pilot for Comedy Central about a failed boy band, and I was in it too, called Boyfriends. And Trevor's character is married to an older lady, and the lady that played his wife was is the mom of the Naked Brothers and like produced that movie, right, or produced the TV show or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Polly Draper, I think was her name. Yeah, and she wasn't she in another trailer we watched last week, Sam? I remember you pointed her out sometime recently. I feel like she was, yeah. She was also she was in that Jenny Slate movie. Uh the abortion one? Uh what was that movie called? Oh, man. Right I would love to thought. do a watch party of boyfriends sometime because I that that was so funny. I loved that Boyfriends? Yeah. yeah, is it around? I I probably mean, could, yeah. I think where, I have it. Where, do you have it? Yeah. I have uh, it. I don't think there's anyone around that would could get us in trouble for that. Right. Uh, obvious uh, child. Yeah. yeah obvious obvious child. child. Okay. Um. Well, I give that trailer two points because uh, I like that it was actually a commercial for DVD. <laughs> I like that they were like, I liked it when they talked about the getting the video for Crazy Car. And I liked all the crazy looking kids in it doing music. So two yeah, points for me. I slid to Twitch. I wouldn't believe it either. Um, but uh, what is Slitty Twitch saying? Slitty Twitch is I don't believe that oh, was a random RNG. number general, right? Because it is. <laughs> well, because we know it's it's a thing with this group. Because Abby Sally is younger than the uh, Naked Brothers. She's younger than babies. I don't know. She's very young. So, it's a weird that, right? way of the, proposing. <laughs> Timmy, have you heard Crazy Car before? I have not. We're not going to listen to it right yeah, now. Yeah, We're yeah, getting yeah, late. There's also a song about 9 11 that is in the movie. The Naked Brothers oh. have a song about 9 11? What do you change? And they left, it, <clears throat> they left it off the trailer? Zach There's, Spiker uh, said, or no, not Zach Spiker. Who's this? Uh, Sam and oh, Speed Punk says, Sam and Nate, you guys should have made a brothers band movie. You missed out on the hype. I'm going to say, True. I don't Crazy think fart. 
<laughs> seeing these two guys as the Brown Brothers band would have been as successful. I don't know. Lydia Petunia says, Abby Sadly is very young. We try not to sexualize her. Uh, who's sexualizing her? We did. Well, Nate, th- someone said Nate wants to marry her, but that doesn't mean that. That just means companionship, right? Um, what are you it voting on? Me, it means, uh, in, in Nate's philosophies, it means servitude. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Uh, um, what are you guys giving for the points? Here's my thing is, I, I just I've said seen this two movie. points. Listen to me, you motherfucker. Two, two points. But when I say that to me, I'm trying to like start the conversation back on track so we can get like back into it. No, I know you, you gave like it two points, but I'm just trying like to jump back uh, into it. You know. Yeah. So I'm yeah, saying yeah, two I've, points. I've, I've, I've seen Abby the movie. Abby says you're only getting married for the dental insurance. <laughs> I've seen the movie uh before and i feel the trailer doesn't do the movie justice so if i saw the trailer alone i wouldn't want to watch it but um it was all right so i'm gonna give it one point all right so that's four from us and chat's only giving it one yeah it's 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 one of those ones that i was surprised it was better than i thought it would be okay uh so that's one from chat that's five points then yep all right, two, and five points. Who submitted that one, Nate? Here's the twist. Here's the <laughs> twist. This was submitted multiple times. Right? Really? Yeah. And the person that. that submitted it was um, Flanja. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was it was a couple different lies there. I didn't follow you. All right, Abby Sally. Abby Sally with how many points? Five? Five points. All right. <laughs> okay. This one, um, it's my, it's my turn, right? That was Nate? Yeah. Yep. Correct. All right. So this one came up in conversation a few times, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this trailer. Uh, all right. Ready? Mm-hmm. From the Academy Award-winning animator of Who Framed Roger Rabbit comes an extraordinary new adventure. Behold the wonders of Arabian Night. Journey to a faraway land guarded by magic. We are safe from any threat as long as those three golden balls are on the minaret. Where a wicked (laughs) wizard schemes to steal the throne. The world is mine to take. Wow. And the Tom Deloise paves the way for disaster. The balls are gone! <laughs> now, the of a that needs to go on the soundboard. The determination of a humble shoemaker. What is your name? I'm Tack. And the help of some outrageous new friends. I am Ruthless, the chieftain. Can save an enchanted kingdom. Problematic. Oh, I like that. Just like they miss. Get ready to battle the one eyes. <laughs> Boogie with the brigands. That was cool. This looks awesome, man. The first animated motion picture created in widescreen cinemascope in over three decades. Featuring the lyrics of Oscar winning songwriter Norman Gimbel and the voices of Vincent Price. I knew it was him. And Jonathan Winters. Jonathan Winters was still alive. Arabian Night. And the context on this one, so, like I looked at this one too. It's interesting context. What's what's up, Sam? So Richard Williams is the the director of this, and apparently he wrote this like uh, really uh, like like a big um, instructional animation book. Like if you're if you're learning animation, you'll probably have to read his book on animation at some point. And uh, it came out, I think, after Aladdin. But the thing was, was that he had been working on it for, like, I think since the 60s. Is that yeah. what it says in that? Yeah, that's what it says in the context, yeah. Uh, so uh, someone in chat says, Richard Williams was the king of animating on ones. Uh, animating what? On ones. What's that mean? What's on ones? 
uh, pets and 86 what's on ones. Uh, but, um, Animating on ones means that for each second of animation, there are 24 new drawings or frames. Okay, so maybe that's why it took him forever, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah. So, like, at most uh, animation... I know Mars is, like, I think it's... On twos? It's, or threes? I think it's on twos, yeah. So, there's a lot of goddamn drawings in that movie, is the short way to, is the short answer. Uh, I thought that trailer kicked ass. It, was, it made me want to see that very badly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say awesome. it was really interesting because what brought me into it is it was like, you know, children's animation and, and whimsical. And then when it went to like the, the bad guys, I guess, or whatever, it was like, scary yeah. you know it was like some Weird, ray bradbury yeah. shit where you're like yeah. oh what the fuck it went dark real quick you know like um uh uh strawberry short was a strawberry short? no rainbow bright like rainbow bright's arch enemy in that cartoon was like super dark and like scary uh whoa i'm trying fun. to find this to watch did you guys know this it was originally uh, it's considered unfinished it was first called the thief and the cobbler and then Miramax oh, yeah. released it later as Arabian Night. There's the yeah, there's multiple on YouTube. Talkship says there's multiple versions of it. That's right. And like like uh, I think different casts um, of voice actors with it. The recobbled cut. It says here. Is that what you guys are talking about? A popular fan edit. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page. It says the recobbled cut, but interesting. Huh. Weinstein hates cobblers. Okay. Hmm. Also, um, he hates asking, and uh, or he hates yeah. And he also they were so bad with kung fu movies. Yeah. You know? He yeah. In Weinstein, he hates um, uh, dating within his league. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, so five people voted no for that, but this got a resounding yeah, 89.8%. Pretty, pretty high. Uh, yeah. I am also going to give it two points. I've never heard of it. Seems pretty epic. Um, yeah, two for me. It didn't Zach have me in the Spike. beginning. Oh, go ahead. Got me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, it got really cool. Well, and so, you know, obviously the trailer was very much focusing on the Aladdin ish aspects given when they were starting to market the movie you know because the first 30 seconds of the trailer is like looks like it's just ripping off aladdin you know so that's uh eight points for lobaka 1977 nice. hell yeah my turn again i don't have one picked out i'm bad at that today um The TBZ challenge thing does not seem to be working. Sorry, guys. I'll get it working. Yep. Here, let's do this one. New from Orion Home Video. Why is Mary marrying this terrible old Barnaby instead of his friend? Because Barnaby bought the mortgage on her mother's house and said he'd throw them all out in the street if she didn't. There's trouble in Toyland. Dear friends and neighbors, as justice of the peace of Toyland, it falls within my power to join this handsome couple. The guy from Empty Nest. Mm, well, in a way, yeah. 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 This couple in matrimony. The wicked Barnaby Barnacle wants the beautiful Not Mary Leslie Nielsen. to be his bride. Barnaby Barnacle. Do you take Mary here to be a bride, to have and protect as long as you both shall live? I do, I do, I absolutely, yes, I do. In that case... She doesn't love him! She loves Jack! And she really should Yeah, Richard Mulligan. If he doesn't get his well, way, yeah. he'll Let's turn more. into a world without toys. Uh, I mean, we're talking serious yeah. building yep. here. So it's up to Jack Nimble. I think what you really want is to destroy Toyland! <laughs> Contra. I plan to own it. His slave Toyland friends. 
It's a lot of sound effects tonight. Don't you realize you can never conquer Toyland? And a little girl from Cincinnati. Cincy Watsky. To drive the... <laughs> Cincy Watsky. <Yeah. laughs> of tacky trolls out of... Oh, Toyland. man. All right. You're the monster of Toyland, Barnaby. Babes in Toyland. For a town, it looks like so much fun. This is pretty strange stuff. E.T. star Drew Barrymore headlines an all-star cast that includes Keanu Reeves, star of the summer smash Bill and Ted's Bogus Adventure. Everybody loves the Karate Kids Wrong. and Marita. That's the monsters <laughs> off the end of Hopscotch Lane. And but Ted's Mask, Bogus Richard Adventure, Mulligan. that's two different movies. When did this movie come out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Wow, weird. Oh, yeah. What? Did it okay. just stop? Yeah. Did the trailer just kind of stop? Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. It just ended. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Yo, Babes in Toyland came out in 1986. So, uh, so Bill and Ted's Adventure didn't come out until 1989. Oh, that's a home video, though. Weird. Uh, Jill Golan played uh, Mary Contrary in that, oh. and she's a bit of a scream queen. Oh, really? She was in Cutting Class. She mm. was in The Stepfather. Oh. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera, the 1989 Phantom of the Opera. Popcorn. Mm. Uh, Popcorn's yeah. the movie? Popcorn's the name of the movie, yep. Okay. Uh, so I liked that trailer, though. It, it had a lot of weird shit in it. Yeah. I thought it started a little weak, but got good. Uh. I will give it two points. My name is Timmy. <laughs> My name is Timmy. Um, I've I've seen that trailer before. Um, I I I because I remember we talked about the whole Bill and Ted thing, and that was funny. So I don't know. I just feel like uh, it's one point for me. Yeah, I, I'd seen it before, and it. it wasn't like exciting for me. Oh, did we just get raided? People, I think we just got raided. Did we just? Uh, it looks like there's raiders. Yes, I don't raiders. see when that happened. Of oh, Bill oh, Miller's Bill duck Miller. There we go. Party of four. Thank you. Well, if you had one more person, it would be like that show. Right. Friends. <laughs> uh, I was going to say lost joke. Uh, and whoever asked yes Terry O'Quinn is in Stepfather and he's fucking I mean that movie I'm not that down with Stepfather but Terry O'Quinn's awesome in it so um uh, well welcome Raiders thank you very much uh, this is a, a show where we watch trailers and uh, it's a contest it's a fun contest Uh, okay. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, are we done with this one? So. Um, yeah. yes. Right? Who, who submitted it? Did we already say? Oh, Jesus Christ. How are we rating? How, how is this uh, organized right now? Let me go back to that. Uh, it, it was, yeah. Okay. Uh, how many points is it? Uh, I'm not we giving, giving it points. three. You're not giving it any points now? No. Oh, I thought you were I giving it one. No, Nate gave it one. Okay, you so we're only giving this. Officially. I give it two points. You said one earlier, Sam. Yeah. What? No. Yeah, you did. Nate said one. I I, I was one. I was like uh, it didn't uh, really excite me. I it okay. wasn't I wasn't into it. Anyway, so we'll all right. Well, we'll give it two points, and Chat's giving it one, so it's three points to Mythic. Mythic. Yeah, Sam hates Mythic's trailers. Yeah. That's yeah. What he happened. says that he says that a lot when we're not on screen. He's like, "God, Mythic's trailers." Um, yeah. Um, I gotta go potty. Heard it here. Um. Well, we gotta be close to wrapping it up. Yeah, oh, yeah. We have to wrap it up. Yeah. I was looking late. for. I, I, you Three, know, four, five, I, I have six, been doing seven, RNG, nine, ten, and I really wanted to like check out to see if I could find one that I. I was like, I really hope. Somebody submits a specific trailer. Well, I have to go to the bathroom really bad, it. so I'll be right back. But you get you get yeah. set up right back.
Oh God. I just I just keep picking the wrong things. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Go for it. You here? Yes. Oh I saw this in the theater. I remember two movie theaters ago from my town. Brandis, R.I.P. Now yeah. is the time to revisit the land of the never-ending story. He died of suicide. All new adventure. Oh, Brad Brad. Where oh, a young yeah. boy he returns to a wondrous world Brad Brad on the wings of his own dead, imagination. Though, right? yeah. The world of Falcor. Boy, am I glad to see you. Mm. The Rockbiter. Big Stall still alive. Junior. <laughs> it's Yum Yum Rocky. The brave Atreyu. I'm glad you came back to Fantasia. And the childlike Empress. You have found the only wish. Powerful enough to save us. In the us first movie, he never actually goes in, right? No, he just reads it. Right. And then Falcor comes out. Right. It helps him beat up the bullies or whatever. Yeah. Share the most exciting fantasy of all. Is this the one that Jack Black's in? The Never Ending Story 2. Uh, the next chapter. I don't know. It's in the third one. Might be in the third one. Uh, I feel like my kid would like these movies. I'll watch them with her sometime just because they're so fucking weird. Uh, Has she seen uh, Labyrinth? No. We have watched Dark Crystal, but it was a long time ago. I don't think she remembers it, but she would love Labyrinth. Dark Crystal's yeah, scary. But- yeah, Dark Crystal is scary, and it's kind of it's pretty slow in the first half too. Oh, you know, you know what you should watch with her. This is like a kind of like adult. I think it's probably rated R, mm-hmm. but it, it still is like kind of a fun, a fun <laughs> one. Is uh, the Breakfast Club? Oh yeah, she would like that. You're right. Is it rated um, R? Seriously? I mean, it's got like pot and like. You know, weird, you know, John, you know how yeah, yeah, yeah. weird John Hughes is with but consent. Be- oh, it is rated R. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, Jeez. Zach Spiker says the princess was the first girl where I was like, nah, <laughs> which I think is really funny <laughs> because when I was a little kid, I saw the princess. I was like, she's the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> huh. I was like, there's no girl hotter than the princess. <laughs> um. Dejan Tandu says, Dark Crystal's like the large Marge part of Pee Wee Herman, but for the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that's I agree. That's a good point. Um, Your uh, girl, girl kind of gray says, my brother wrote the princess a letter. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you could find that letter. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's great. That is so good. Oh, yeah. That would be great. I would love to read that on stream. What do we think about the trailer? I give it two. There's so much stuff in it. Lots Dear of puppets princess, and fun effects. You're the most beautiful uh, girl. <laughs> and seen. in this one, the horse doesn't die. So, you know. Do you know the name of the yeah. horse? Huh? Do you know the name of the horse? A tree. I know it. No, that's the guy. No, uh, the uh, guy, guy. Yeah. Uh, what? I know Sam, it. Sam, you know it? Bastion? No. That's the kid. Uh, oh, that's the kid. Artax. I was going to say Shadow no. Fax. Shadow <laughs> Fax is Gandalf's horse. Yeah, Artax. All right. Mythic says, way too much fantasy tonight could double as a fantasy theme. You know what? You I don't know if we've ever done a fantasy. fantasy trailer, A, and B. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> hey, Timmy. That's good sense. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. Yeah, that, that was good, Seth. So that was overly mean. I mean, come on. Don't yeah. just quit from. Should we, should we vote? Artex 4090. That's funny. Uh, Deja. Uh, <laughs> Artex 4090 TI. Um, I'll give it that's two. That's a nerd joke. Uh, I'll Is give that it, about uh, a scientific calculator? True. No. Okay. I give it two for Jonathan Brandis. He deserves the recognition that he didn't get while he was alive. He deserves Sequest to get points. Sequest DSV, Sequest RIP. I I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it two for the the same reason is that not only did he uh, deserve the recognition, he deserved to be loved, and it seemed like he didn't get loved. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, Kid Ninety. The, Are you talking about Kid Ninety? Yeah. 
So yeah. sad. He There's seemed a like a very sincere guy who didn't have a supportive family life. I mean, I don't know. I don't no, know. no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. If you guys haven't seen it already, there's a uh, documentary that Soleil Moonfry did um, yeah. of videos that she shot herself when she was a kid doing Punky Brewster. It's it's an odd documentary because it's just kind of like her videos and uh, there's a lot of other people. And it's like interesting how introspective she was at that age, you know? I don't know. It was good. Yeah, um, and there was there's a voicemail that kind of crushes you where it's it's him uh like asking her if he can spend Thanksgiving with her family and he's just geez. like I just really love that and I love spending time with you so much and it's really kind of you can you can see the sort of like him trying to get something that he's not getting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was 27. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, should we move on? No, well, we can't. Wait, I thought we were voting on that. I accidentally clicked off the... They I said a, two points. Uh, looks like they gave it one. I said two points as well. Nate, what did you give it? One? No, I think I gave it two points as well. So it's five from us and one from chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's six Running points. and farting gets six Ooh. points. Who's next? All right. Wise? All right, should we do one more round of trailers from each of us and then be done? Is that okay, okay, Sam? Can you do that? If yeah, not, if not, just old. say. Well, let's just do two trailers. We can just be done. You can, you can skip me. Did you have other uh, ones yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah, to watch? I have well, one. I, there, I, I have one I want to watch, and you. Yeah, let's do those, and let's and do we'll, those and be done. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Where where did that go? Uh. That'll put us at 17. That's pretty close. Uh, I'll play okay. a trailer that right, we voted on somebody else's just while, while we're doing trailer of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. fine. That's cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Máte štěstí, že mám slabost pro kozí v šenku. Normálně na sekeru nedávám. Kozí příběh. Pověsti staré Prahy. Mahule Nabočanová, Matěj Hádek, Michal Dlouhý, Petr Pelcr, Jan Přeučil, Viktor Price a Jizí Lábus. Jizí Lábus! He must be a comedian. V českém 3D animovaném filmu na motivy staropražských legend. Tento podzim v kinech poprvé ožijí pověsti o starobilém Karlově mostě, staroměstském Orloji a Faustově domě. V příběhu Kuby, Kozy, a čarokrásné středověké Prahy. Aha, to je dílo kozo, co? Tak vidíš, že ta cesta stála za to. Ale ne všichni Kubovi a jeho koze přejí. Protože zlo se může skrývat v každém z nás. It's that the You know, because of Faust. Přijďte se na nás od 16. října podívat do kina. A nejlíp s kozou. And bring your goat. That was that was uh, check, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Hold on, uh, I thanks. just want to show like the opening, like Nate. No, we're trying to leave. <laughs> Did it look like the goat was like behind him, like? 
Yeah, there was definitely a weird, sexy conversation, sort of. It's, uh, I mean, look at this guy's nose. Yeah, that, that guy's nose. The, the nose looks a little TOS, you know? Right. Uh, Square penis. Um, oh, that guy's nose. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I uh, uh, have been to Prague before, and I've seen some of these places, and that's, like, kind of cool. Uh, but the other weird thing is, is the hostel I was staying in had a bar in its basement and I got really drunk off of absinthe that the night I was staying there. And uh, while I was walking up the stairs that looked exactly like the stone stairs that he walks up to and sees the devil, uh, I was so drunk that like someone opened up the door at the top and I got spooked and threw my hand up and it was since it was all like rock wall i just like my whole hand got like i woke up and my hand was all like scabbed up oh jeez because i dragged it across this rock wall because i got spooked by someone opening a door so that's <laughs> not when i wore the fedora <laughs> isn't it funny that that there is that there the the story about me and the fedora and uh there's you know, like I, I eventually found the picture. I put it up online of me wearing that fedora, and it's a nice looking fedora. Zach gave me a lot of crap for that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he wore he wore a fedora in college, and um, let's just you know, let's all the time, point a, like a velvet fedora. That was yeah, like when thing. you point a finger at me, you point four fingers. Four fingers are pointing back at you, or three three fingers. The funny thing about your fedora story, too, is I ran into our friend the other night that you were with, and he was saying, like, on his side of it, it's like, he was like, see you later, man. And you were like, see you later. And then he didn't see you again for, like, something like six months. And so he was like, he was like, hey, man, how are you doing? You, like, went right into the story, and it, like, started, like, as, like, the minute. The moment. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, what the hell? That's crazy. So. I always thought that's pretty funny. Um, uh, uh, what do you think of this goat story, huh? I thought it was very weird. <clears throat> yeah. Very cool. I I, I love I, I mean, like, it's so weird. It's so, like, weird on a level of, like, wait, what is this? Like, what is this approach to making a movie? Yeah. It's such like, a strong opening to a trailer where the goat is like, marry me. And you're like, what is going on? And then, like, by the time you get to the end, you've almost forgotten that part because there's so much other shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it two points because of that reason. Two points. Um, I'm going to be the guy this time and say one. I just kind of think got sick of seeing animated trailers or something. I don't know. It was all right. All right. Okay. Um, so anyway, so four from us. Four from us, and then it looks like chat is giving it two points as well. At six points, who gets them? Six points going to Niamix. All right, we can hop right into mine. I'm ready to go. It's absolutely insane, Nart. You have to watch it on YouTube. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm into it. Here we go. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. clearly like computer graphics uh -huh. uh, why not just get drone footage of a drone or get footage <laughs> of a yeah, drone like what yeah you've got the drone <laughs> like <laughs> do you only have like a one drone footage uh, one drone budget yeah it's like well we're getting these aerial shots with the drone uh, what do we need a mirror or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to find the part where she's like in the helicopter. Right, it's a real I one drone movie. Yeah. Into the wrong hands. So, so I've called an agent shark. I've landed. <laughs> <laughs> I've landed. All right. <laughs> she's wearing a lot of leather for a children's movie. Yeah, that's for the dads. This one's for the dads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That Down drone isn't a. It's Kmart trip. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, 
uh he wouldn't get copyright stricken by us but uh that's not to say that there aren't condorman said that would a friend of his get copyright stricken from twitch if he watched our thing but uh we do have a company that is since we we don't since there's a lot of illegal uploads on youtube of our stuff uh there is a company that like seeks out that stuff and goes like oh this money goes to whitest kids not you guys but not on twitch if you're watching it live on twitch but not on twitch yeah not live on twitch as long as you only say good uh, things. If you say bad things, then yeah. Sam will come at you. What are you talking about? We, we have a company of- that like figures out that when it's running on other channels that we're talking about? Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. What? Do you know this? I, I, oh, I'm supposed this to remember what happening. we were talking about at the funeral? This has been happening for a long time. This well, that's is great. There's a company that, that uh, basically that... that people who've uploaded our videos and who've been profiting off of it they're the money that they make has to go to to us okay not the money that they have made it's not retroactive but but it's like right it's basically it gets dinged on youtube and the money gets redirected to us okay yeah Yeah, i do remember that now uh torchion says is it possible to bring back the skits you I just hate it. Up. I just hate it when people say skits but also uh skits are what you see on tiktok also, uh, bring back the skits. We never watched skits on this show ever. Or, or, or are they asking we us watched- if we'll make a TV show again? Because oh, no, because I mean, Sam and I don't like each other. That's why yeah. we're always in different rooms when we broadcast. We're in different states, uh, different time zones. Th- it was like when Trevor died. I was like, oh, maybe I'll go back to it, and then I was like, ah, no, I still don't like Timmy. Yep. Um, um, I we should like Dog on Christmas. Soon, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I'm gonna give it one point. I'll give it one point two. I'll give it one. That's two points from us, and it looks like chat has given it two points as well. That is four points. Who's getting them? Was that mine? Uh, oh shit! Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Voodoo Cowboy. How many points again? Four. Four. Oh, Dad feels his rating with 981 people. <laughs> Are you fucking Dad kidding feels. me? Thank you so much. Yo. Also, just want to say, congrats on the big win. Uh, I want to. I want to see what he's Dad. I, I, what is that's, this? Uh, Dad. All right, continue. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I was saying dad's ring entrance, I've sent to so many people. The ring entrance was a thing of beauty. And Timmy, do you, I, Timmy, I feel like you don't know what we're talking about. I have no, I have zero idea. The, but thank you for rating us with the, so much, people. Maybe we should watch some more trailers. The second one, right? The second battle of the... Yeah, the, Creator uh, Clash 2. Creator Clash 2, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was when he like ran ran down super fast. He did like the ultimate warrior kind of thing. Was that who does that? Um, I'm not sure. I you know what? I'm gonna say that's a, a, a dad, you, dad original. Uh, um, it was a quick fight. <laughs> I want to show. I want. I want to show the intro wait, for Timmy. I have a question for amazing. Dad feels. For, yeah. for dad, since he's on here, and I'm sure someone's asked him this before. Uh, do you think there's, there's ever would be a reality where you'd fight a Paul brother? <laughs> I mean, he called out the entire WWE, and one of the Paul brothers Ooh. is on WWE. So I feel it would only make Possibly sense. Possibly without it. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I want to show yeah. Timmy this thing. Um, some of you other people may have seen it. Um, I want to show you ready for this, Timmy? Rest. Yeah. Cool. Well, here's dad. In the middle there. Okay. I, this, I got chills. I got chills. I was like, yes. And that's John Morrison on on his left, I believe. The uh, survivor, uh, 
wrestler. Yep. So wait, this was a thing where a bunch of Twitch people fought each other? Yeah. And some yeah. people just... Like, dad's stamina is unparalleled. This dude trained for like a 30-minute round. Cops out for dad. Never stop punching. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think I could. Fuck. Oh yes. God, Jesus. Dad taking off into the ring. Jumping over the rope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my Lord. Mercy. <laughs> this man is on fire. A feral animal. Right in our face, folks. And I hope you can tell this man's energy is unstoppable. That's how to fucking do it. I, I love ring entrances, you know, like, and, yeah, and yeah. it's, it's gotta be tough to think of like a new ring entrance that you don't see. And, and there it is. Like, you're just like, I'm getting in there. He loved, uh, uh, Lennox Lewis used to come out to like reggae, like real chill, totally crazy vibe. Like he would just come out like nodding his head. I was like, that's pretty badass, you know? I'm uh, such a boy. The ultimate warrior, yeah. I, I think, I think did that though. It was like, like did the, like the fast rundown. Uh, but yeah, I know it's an awesome move. Uh, do you know what I fucking loved was, uh, do, have you, you've seen the movie warrior, right? Yeah. Yeah. The MMA movie with, um, uh, yeah. Joel Egerton, mm-hmm. Joel Egerton and, uh, Tom Hardy. Yeah, Didn't Tom underrated. Hardy's character in there not have like music that he came out to? Probably. I don't remember. It was it was something like that where he had like no fanfare at all to him to his ring entrance. Oh, oh and, wait, and wait! It, he did have the one where the Marines got up and sang the Marine song. Remember that? I think they they did, but like it, it wasn't like he set that up because the first time he came out, he didn't have a ring song, and they were like, "We need to sing him a ring song." Yeah, Warrior with Tom Hardy and Joel Egerton. Oh, Warrior and, and Nick Nolte. It's a very fucking yeah. good movie, and I feel like not enough people have seen it. What the the director of Warrior just did something else that I was watching or or watched. Um, uh, maybe you want to see. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. pointing out that the first creator clash. Everyone thought that. Uh, Nate Barnett was fighting his own son because <laughs> his name was dad. Oh, yeah. and he was like really sad. <laughs> oh, he was like, that guy's got brain sh- damage. <laughs> no, no, they, they showed it on, um, uh, what's, what's it? Uh, um, uh, fucking, uh, the guy from news radio. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> I, also, I will Dave Foley. only call this guy the guy from Dave News Foley. Radio from now on. No, not the Joe Rogan. Yes. The guy from news radio, Joe Rogan. Uh, <laughs> Bill I Harbin. forget that that's what he is. But Joe Rogan watched it on his show and was like, yeah, that's sad. This guy just fucking owned his son. This guy like gave him brain damage. That's that's. And then like found out that he wasn't actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, the guy who directed Warrior also directed this movie Pride and Glory that I hear is kind of an unrated mid. Unrated. Uh uh un- underrated i mean sorry unrated uh um yeah but yeah thanks for the raid dad thanks yeah. for the raid Thank dad you. doesn't do round twos <laughs> that was dope uh, um anyway um yeah uh so where are we at with the show <laughs> well a while ago we said we were gonna be done then you guys just had a conversation i don't understand well, we got this huge raid i know we got a huge raid that's great no we could watch some more trailers though and or something you know right, but, you got a trailer um, or is it my right. turn well no but i thought do we you were explain done explain um, to me do you want to explain how the show works we could yeah i mean I'll, i'd watch some more i just um i don't know i checked out for Whatever you guys are talking about, but that's okay. Uh, but no, Dad, I like the video. <laughs> Dad, um, lots of respect. Uh, yeah, no, so I'm not showing writing. disrespect to them. To, to Dad, Dad no. we like you. Oh, I I'm mean, go you know. Do that. I don't want to be mean to a guest. That's not what I'm saying at all. 
Uh, I'm just saying that afterwards you guys went on some spiel and I thought we were going to be done and then there was a spiel. So Timmy doesn't get it. He's from South Dakota. We're from Cape Cod. So yeah, we got Massachusetts. That. We got that. Yeah. Uh, Timmy Cape looks Cod? angry. I'm sorry. Represent. I've got my hand hovering on the L and leave meeting. So Dad, what do you guys want to do? Huh? Pick a trailer, Dad, Timmy. You got you got to hit Nate up if you move back. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> no, we're, I thought no, we were no, no, no. Like, what Cape are we Cod doing? is not happening. I got I thought we were going to watch another trailer. Well, we can if you guys want. But well, I, I wanted to explain the show yeah. to the people that that just uh, well, then joined. someone explain it. Dad, I'm in L.A. or I'm All right. in the Alhambra. So here, you're watching Trailer Boys attempting to happen around Sam right now. And uh, what we do is we show a bunch of trailers. And we have a theme, and people submit trailers, and we watch the trailers, and they get, uh, we we all, you guys vote on them, and the three of us decide how many points to give it, and at the end, we do, uh, we do a, whatchamacallit, we do Trailer of the Week, so. Trailer of the Week, and uh, we've watched a bunch, but um, I, I. I do. The, the problem yeah, is the when trailer that many people really show up, watch. you got to do something. But that's. I'm just saying, like they showed up, and then you guys kind of. I don't know what you were talking about, but I'm. I'm like, well, if the people show up, let's do more show. You know. But, okay, let's do more show. All right. Uh, was there another one that you wanted to watch? Because I was just going randomly. All I can hear is Sam's keyboard. Okay, it is loud. All right, it's I, so I have loud. One. I've never, I've never understood it. I can pick a trailer real quick though. Sure. All right, do it, do it, do it. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna do this one. Then this person we haven't watched any of theirs yet. Okay, so here's how it works: people and kids, men and women, and dad, dad feels. Here we go. I hope they have the theme song on this. I'm surprised you didn't pick this one already. He has been hailed. why. Because we talked about it before the show started. Of all time. Yeah, that's why I didn't. Well, I kept finding other ones I wanted to play, too. This summer, Plus, Hayao Miyazaki, director of the Academy Award winning Spirited Away, releases his next masterpiece. We've all been waiting for you. The whole world is out of balance. Ponyo, you have to trust me. You're the only one who could save the planet. Do it now. Do it. Be super Walt weird, Disney by Pictures the way. Presents a Studio Ghibli film featuring the voices of Liam Neeson, Noah Cyrus, Frankie Jonas. Who's Noah Tina Cyrus? Faye, I have no idea. Eddie White, Thomas Leachman, probably Miley Lily Cyrus's Tom, brother, Matt Damon, <laughs> and I've, Kate I've Blanchett. Been... Good luck on you. That's funny because that character is basically Galadriel. What is that? Is it really Miley Cyrus' brother? Isn't he like in a hardcore band or something? That was fucking loud. Sorry, guys. Super loud trailer. Play it. Play what? Uh, Is there a song? Yeah, they're not doing the theme song. Uh, that movie has a very ridiculous theme song. First of all, gorgeous animation in that trailer, of course, Studio Ghibli, but still. Anyways, that, the, the theme song of Ponyo, 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 Fishy in the Sea. It's crazy. That's like I, the whole song. I am afraid that Timmy is going to sass me if I tell him how I feel about this movie. I don't give a shit. It's not like something I hold dear, but I know, but I think it was a pretty good trailer because it was great. Like, you know, uh, the animation was really good. It didn't really give anything away, but go ahead. I know you just have to do it. So do it. No, I'm going to say like, so this was the movie that I watched and I was like, maybe I don't like Studio Ghibli movies. And then I <laughs> went back and watched the rest of it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think I do. I was like, yeah, the animation looks great, but like, as far like this the was the movie crazy. that made the yeah. rest of their movies bad for me. Isn't that fucked up? Like, if you yeah. had asked me about some of the other movies, I'd be like, yeah, 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 it was cool, it was cool. And then um, after I watched this one, I was so annoyed that I <laughs> like rewatched them. And I was like, no, I was wrong before. <laughs> yeah, no, it's you know, yeah. not for me. Uh, I, well, and I I went into it expecting a lesser Studio Ghibli movie, but I ended up liking it quite a bit in some parts. But it's really weird. It's a really weird movie. 
Uh, Totoro is amazing. Didn't you know? Uh, Princess Mon- Mononoke. I, I don't think, even. Um, there was try, one that guys. I kind of. I named some of the other ones. Not Castle. Uh, oh, we didn't Howl's explain to people how castle? to vote. Hold on, shut up. Oh, it yeah, says yeah. Guys, how to vote. vote it on says the... how to vote. Well, but we should say it. It's it's 2023. You gotta say stuff out loud too. You can't just have expect people to read it. You know. So to me, chat on the. Yes. Did you just tell me to shut up? Yeah. Can you drop the bit for a second so I can explain to these hundreds of people how to vote? You wanna uh, if you uh, wanna vote on the movie, you type a one for no or two for yes in chat. That's all you got to do. In the trailer, okay, we're voting ahead, on Sam. the trailer itself. On the trailer, not the movie. You know. Like how we're talking about whether or not the movie's good right now is like beside the point. It's all about what you think about the trailer. But Nate wanted everyone kill to know how cool his opinion kill is. Kill each other. Kill each other. Kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I agree with Nate. I'm in like, you know, like I know everyone loves Studio Ghibli, but like uh Gib- Ghibli my nuts, right? You know? <laughs> uh you know, like those movies are just like Hey, uh, uh, I'm lost, and all of a sudden I'm in a magical world, and now now this cup is talking to me? Oh, my God. Oh, but it's actually the ghost of the forest? Ooh, wow. Oh, no, it's a water witch. Oh, my God. Oh, watch out. I'm, I'm a dust ball. I'm a dust ball. Oh, so Sam's seen one movie. That's what we're saying. It, <laughs> it's too whimsical uh, for you. He's seen Spirited Away <laughs> and... No, no, I've seen Spirited Away. I've seen Howl's Mo- uh, Moving Castle. Those two are similar I've for seen, sure. Uh, Spirited Away is the one that I was like, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> like, I, I thought Spirited Away um, it is the one I like the most out of the, out of those. Oh, the other thing to explain to all the Raiders is uh, the Brown Brothers have horrible taste, just so we all know. Uh, yeah, oh, also, it's, right. it's a fucking cartoon, so I'm not a child. <laughs> so I don't know why everyone's like, oh, I, I like this Nickelodeon movie. And it's like, oh, go, go fuck yourself, all right, guy? <laughs> it does look um, like Bell and Sebastian animation. Remember Bell and Sebastian no, in the cartoon? That, um, I mean, like, it, it does feel like so kind of like, hey, we're going to be so whimsical, you have to like us. Like, it, it does feel a little bit like, like uh, 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 the Emperor's New Clothes, you know? Right? Like, like, everyone's like, oh, don't you love studio ghibli and you're like all right no not really sam there's a few so that- people here uh, not catching the joke and being like you literally write for cartoons it's like yeah yeah no i no, think no, he yeah. knows that um <laughs> I, was, I was kidding about that but there's I mean, people telling that- you to stop talking in all caps people are you know he did loop in the third though and i did like loop in the third but that's not a movie right that's a that's a show uh <laughs> Big Row yeah, One says yeah. we're just fucking rambling at this point. We are. Yeah. I'm gonna give that as soon as we got rated it went ramble. ramble I'm gonna give that zero points. Yeah. I'm gonna give ramble it zero points. Zero, zero points. I'm gonna give it six. Studio Ghibli can f- suck my butt, guys. <laughs> All right, so chat I'll gave it me, one point. I'll, Timmy, I'll how many points one. did you give it? You know, it's. It, it, I will say, you know, yeah, it's not the best animated movie, whatever. But uh, I mean, it's well animated. I mean whatever you know what i mean sure. Anyways, no uh, i i don't i, I don't s- disagree i will I, say <coughs> i would rather watch Rockin brown brothers man it's i like would you guys, rather the, 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 the shoe that turned midnight and you both turned i'm into, sorry hey i can can i talk can i can you let me finish clearly shown that you can talk can you let me finish yeah want a date uh so, as I was saying... By the way, saying, you guys interrupted me saying something, so just so you know. Kill each other. Kill I was each just trying other. to agree with you. I'm sorry. I would rather watch a bunch of the original Pokemon cartoon than a Miyazaki movie. I'd be more entertain- entertained watching the adventures of Ash, Misty, and Brock 
than wasting my time with that whimsical crap. I'm really Damn, glad we one. gave that the space it needed to breathe. <laughs> so, um, I'm just saying the uh, yeah, I gave it one, and so it's only two points total, I guess, right? Yeah, but uh, that's two to Crisco. I will say that particular movie does get a lot darker than I thought because it ends up being a uh, an environment kind of thing, you know. Kill each other. <laughs> It gets a big red. Immediately, oh, yeah, it insults <laughs> into your audience. You know what? Into your, into you can, your audience. You can read your words before you hit return. Yeah, Toko thirteen thirteen. Also, Toko, you're wrong about <laughs> everything you ever like. Toko, uh, do you know what the thirteen thirteen reference is? Abby says, know. "If Nart wasn't so hot, I would have left by now." That's what I'm saying, girl. Oh. I agree with you. All right, I I need to I need to to um. All right, I'm gonna. I keep on. Uh, uh, I don't know who Caleb loves lunch is, but I should pay them more so they could at least buy a badge. But they're saying the best stuff. <laughs> do you want to do a trailer of the week, Sam? Timed out. Who timed out? You timed Caleb's, out, Caleb, for Caleb's. saying that. <laughs> yep. Oh, here's oh here's somebody who's like really with it. Ghosty Beetle ninety eight says, "Timmy, how's the transitioning going?" I grew long hair. It must be for only that one reason. Whoa. God, people are crazy. Can I time uh, them out since we're timing people out? I'll time them out. Trailer of the week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, Sam, I'm timing out someone on your behalf because people say shit about me when I hate it. Someone says Sam is sensitive. Fucking suck our butts. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to ban him. Oops. I I'm meant to do time out. I'm very sensitive. Dude, I accidentally. Okay, unbanned him. There we go. Timed him out. <laughs> There we go. All right, trailer of the week. Mm -hmm. Who'd you? Oh, you you did ban them. I unbanned it by accident. <laughs> uh, or did I, I ban go, them? No, I banned it by accident. Okay, I banned it by accident. I unbanned them and timed them out. Oh my Shut god, crazy! This is the most off the rails the show's gone in a while. Well, but like he shushed me in that. Wait, did he leave? Yeah. Why did he leave? We weren't fighting anymore. Why did he leave? I don't know. I think he wanted to like drop a bomb, stir some shit up, and then leave and watch us fight. Watch me and you fight or us fight? Yeah, 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 me and you. Well, what are we going to fight about? Exactly. He doesn't know. Wait, did we ban out. Sam? We didn't ban Sam by accident. I don't know what happened. Wait, so what are we going to fight about, Nate? Uh, about no, Ponyo? No, I never cared if you liked Ponyo. It's Why fine. That we're not going to fight. Uh, will you no, read the list? Let's fight about how we're not going to fight, Nate, because I think. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do trailer of the week you want to tell me who's i don't i have no idea what we're doing anymore you know i i finished off a gummy a little bit ago so i'm starting to get to just like things are starting to make sense okay there you know what someone gave me some uh amanita mushroom gummies okay. and I, I i'm not on that right now i tried okay. one the other night and it's not super strong, but there was a moment where I lay down in my yard and thought the Big Dipper constellation was exploding. So that's pretty cool, though. It was fun. Well, the thing is, is it's not like totally psychedelic like other kinds of shrooms, but um, just lightly, though, you know. A lot yeah, of light stuff. and like I uh, well, and I felt very just happy and like super at ease. You know what I mean? Which you know, I have horrible anxiety and I'm pretty much never at ease. So you know, it's, it's good. Have you seen that documentary about mushrooms? Which one? Fantastic fungi? No. Is that the Fingers? one with Paul Stamets? Yeah. Okay. You know, I've seen him speak live before. He's cool. Oh, I haven't. I, I yeah, didn't realize yeah. they named that Star Trek yeah, character after him. That yeah. was pretty cool. You know his theory that human humanity evolved from mushrooms? Pretty cool. Girl hey, Kinda Grace is Spiker, the only person welcome. to get sassy on gummies. You know what? <laughs> Girl in a kind of gray, you're not totally wrong, but I'm way sassier pre. <laughs> like for sure. You know, Zach Spiker says, Usually I catch these on YouTube, and this is the first one I have participated in live. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Well, the YouTube <laughs> ones are heavily edited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Okay. Do you think, wait, did, did I make Sam mad? I didn't make Sam mad, did I? No, I think he, he was, was doing a whole bit about He was uh, doing a bit. 
and he yeah. knew he was leaving, so he was doing okay. a bit to rile you up and then dip. He's probably watching right now. He didn't really rile me up, though. I, I think mean, he was trying to, though. Yeah, I mean, no, I just got riled up because I was like, okay, you guys, like, there's all these people here, and you're telling some crazy-ass story. Oh, here we go. What do you want? Um, I, I do have to go. I seriously go, but I had to plug my show first. What show? Oh, your live show. Yeah, I'm doing a sketch show. If you're in Los Angeles, I'm doing a sketch show on Friday night at the Three Clubs, commonly miscalled the Three of Clubs, but it's actually the Three mm. Clubs on uh, on Santa Monica and Vine. You can buy tickets on Eventbrite. Uh, the show is called The Funny Dinner Party, a <laughs> one-act play of short sketches. Of many uh, skits. That's what it's called. How many so, skits uh, are in one sketch? Duop Duop Shvap says skits, not sketches. There's the old the old title was of many skits. <laughs> uh, that was the old title. Is it but like yes. courts announces kind of thing? Courts yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean I'm just glad we finally it's talked about metric. it publicly because I've told Sam Sam and I have discussed before that we don't like the word skits. <laughs> And I'm like, well, I'm glad we finally said it out loud to people. I think I've you said should it invite when I... Nathan Barnett. Yeah, you should come out, Dad. Um, but yeah, uh, Emily, uh, Emily, and me are doing a sketch show together with our friends Elizabeth Hayhurst and Jesse Klein, and uh, it is going to be fun and uh, something that I would love for people to come out to. Um, when is there's... it? There's it's on Friday at 8 p.m. Lydia Petunia says, don't ever tell us anything you don't like. Away Stark Away says, skits are what they do at gay conversion therapy camps. 100%. That is what I'm talking about. Skits are what you're forced to do at a camp of some kind, at least. You know? Sketches of what you do when you and four friends just drink a bunch and make each other laugh. Well, we didn't. No, we never drank at writing meetings. But yeah. Anyways, Amora Wana, where at in Minnesota are you? What are we doing right now? But yeah, I just wanted to say that, and uh, I just I I gotta go. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and we should also we should do fantasy next week for mythic. <laughs> I mean, I think you better su- su- submit like a cop movie or a bank heist movie and be like, I don't know, whatever. I'm losing my train of thought here. Roseville. Man, I won. Marijuana, I'm from South Dakota. And one time, Roseville's a suburb of Minneapolis. I one time uh, went to a party with a bunch of my friends in, it was near the college. It was kind of downtownish or something. We got really wasted, went to a random party and talked to a guy, one of the people leaving the party and bring us to his house to party. And it was like five in the morning already. So then he was like, you guys got to get out of here. Why'd you come with me? And we just walked like all the way back to downtown. I don't know. It's like a 12. It was a long walk. We walked all morning and one of our friends stole a Playboy from a gas station. You want to watch Anyways, the trailer? I thought we're done. Let's watch one. I told a story. I didn't just have a conversation about something half of us don't know what you mean. Yeah. You know? What are you talking about? I feel like you're just getting on me about talking for a little bit there. You know? No, 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 no. I just but queued hold up on. the trailer. Nate, can I time out Domino's Fleet for what they just said? I and think this I we watched the trailers on the show. <laughs> Like we just watched, we watched like eighteen trailers tonight. Get the fuck out of here! You want to watch another one? I'm timing that bitch out. They uh-huh. they know me by now. They came into my stream the other day and started shit. They fucking shit starters. Uh, who would be picking it? I picked one, so now it's your turn, right? Yeah. All right, and then do we do trailer of the week? I sure. love being a boy. Oh Jesus! Listen to it. Someone just texted me. You're ugly and your hair looks like rat hair. I just punch it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta start this again because I had the wrong scene. I love being a boy. Have you got? Have we had love this being before? a boy? Listen oh. to it. Someone just texted me. You're ugly and your hair looks like rat hair. I just punked. 
<laughs> and everyone thinks Cool Cat is so cool, so it's time to punk him. Cool Cat. Wow. Oh wow. Cool oh wow. There he is. Bye, everybody. Now Stitzy or Rothrock? The freshest felines we know. Cool Cat, the coolest cat in town. <laughs> My son is a construction expert. Cool Cat likes to rock and roll. Cool Cat likes to love and sing. Yo, yo, yo. My name is Cool Cat and I'm the coolest Oh my god. It really makes me happy. It's a cool cat boogie and I love to play. <laughs> oh my god. Hip, hip, hip. The Dr. coolest Dr. kids movie I've Dr. ever Dr. seen. I'm to tell you about the coolest cat. His name is Cool Cat and the kids love him so. Who's that kid? He better not be a bully because I don't like bullies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is a bully. Oh shit. People used to pick on me, and then I learned how to react. And I learned that standing up for yourself is a great thing! You know what, Nate? Oh no! You squished the bully! He's about to graffiti our neighbor's wall! It's about to put the beam on. That be said for bad boy! I need to stop him! <laughs> cool Cat to the rescue! Cool Cat's so brave! Yeah, he's a real crime fighter. Let's play treasure hunters! There's something shiny! Oh no! It's a gun! Then we should tell our parents and teachers about it! It's a gun over there! I can bring it to school and take everyone's lunch money! Oh no! What? Oh, my mom was gonna whoop me! Shut, Bonehead! Look, Shut, Bonehead? I love you too! I'm Cool Cat, and I love all kids! <laughs> Holy sh! Yeah, man, dude. Okay, listen. This is why this show works, even though when we're all getting on each other's cases of people, I don't know. It's not like it's not real, but it's not real. You know what I mean? Anyways, but so here we are. We've been like back and forth, blah, 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 trying to do the what are we gonna do? You know, and then we throw this trailer on. It's the trailer of the night. No, no question. I mean, let's not even vote. Let's just say that was the best trailer of the night because it was. <laughs> Yeah, Holy I feel we have to add shit. that the trailer of the week without. You I've know. seen the poster. Yeah, for that somewhere. Uh, you have, and yes, I know that I've seen that before. And I'm, yeah, the gun safety and anti-bullying movie. You know what? It was I probably saw it on like Just Watch or something. It's probably one of those things how Amazon just gets so much shit all the time. I I, if I probably saw it on there or something. You know, but man, it's so insane to me about Vivica A. Fox and like. <laughs> It's Eric Estrada. It, it, like they're like, oh, a shiny gun, and like the kid playing the bullies. Like, yeah, I punked. Like, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was, dude. Like, just the terrible font, and just like, yeah, wow. It's a gun. I I wish Sam were here to see this. I know. I don't. Yeah, is this one out of? Uh, is this one in the contest out of competition? No, I I have to like call Sam now to because okay, yeah, if see if he has two minutes and fourteen seconds. There's a documentary about this. Get the fuck out of what here! What the fuck about this? About the Sam. Hold on one second. Sorry, you're on the stream. Uh, we have a question. <laughs> yeah, Timmy and I have a question for you. Have you heard of Cool Cat Saves the Kids? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Savage uh, is uh, a guy I've ever had on the show. Oh, this this trailer is crazy. We just saw a crazy, crazy, crazy trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor was obsessed with Cool Cat Saves the Kids. <laughs> had Derek Savage on his show. He also has other movies. Um, I think maybe there's like a Cool Cat. Uh, drugs one, but yeah, that dude's insane. We saw an uh, anti bullying slash gun violence one, very weird. Yeah, all right, yeah, it's funny that you we see it. Make right. sure. Yeah, yeah, just to make sure you we heard it. that you knew Trevor was obsessed with Derek Savage and had Derek Savage on his show. Yeah, yeah, wow, I'll have to watch that later. 
All right, I'll talk to you. Okay, yeah. We'll really leave you alone now. Of course, now. Sorry. of course, Trevor is obsessed with that. <laughs> that is, yeah. Belzo says, "Oh yeah, it was Trevor where I saw it. That's pretty fucking funny." Um, yeah, and that makes so much. There's apparently nine movies in the Cool Cat universe. Whoa! Wow, the CCMCU. <laughs> um that's insane to me that is insane to me i'm giving that two points with a bonus if if timmy's up for it what now i'm gonna give it two points but i will put my two plus in there if you're willing to also two plus yes other side (laughs) there we go yeah I mean, honey, honey, what, what's the thing they say now that Sam's going? We can talk about Japanese animation for a second. What's the thing from uh, Dragon Ball Kamahama, right? Something like that. I, I know what you're saying, and I don't remember it either. I don't know. I've only seen one episode. I've t- seen like two or three episodes of that show. So I saw a guy flexing for like 40 minutes, and then I think th- there was a quick fight. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a soap opera as far that's as that's, like yeah, 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 the yeah. pacing, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like powering um, up for 14 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Kumi Yumi. What is a tummy yummy? Tummy hummy ha. I'm going with tummy yummy. Good night, Teffy. All right. Um, chat didn't like it as much as I did, which I think is. Happy Sally says no more nerd shit. <laughs> what now, bud? Uh, chat, chat didn't, didn't like it as, as much as, as I did. They gave it a two. And yeah, we gave yeah. it well. We gave it five total or yeah, four that's total. Seven, yeah. So that's seven going to Big Row One. Um, wow. See, this, is, this is when I do the uh, randoms, right? Sometimes I, I do miss stuff, you know, because it's just it's straight random. Yeah, but, I, um, I was meaning to play that one too, and I kept passing it. And I played Ponyo instead because I knew everybody would like it a lot. <laughs> so I really wanted to play the Benji one, and then and then Count Pupper submitted it, but we already watched the Count Pupper one. Yeah. So. Well, um, and Benji is, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people know that one, but that's still a pretty great. Uh, so we have a lot of of competitions for trailer of the week. Will you read these off yeah. to me? Yes, sir. Is Babe PG? Babe is G. Uh, but we just didn't get to it. Okay. Cool Cat Saves the Kids. The Adventures of Mark Twain. Puff and Stuff, which is P-U-F-N-S-T-U-F. Okay. Uh, King Kung Fu, which I forgot about, and I'm remembering, and I'm going <laughs> to to go away for a second and cheese out. Uh, a Talking Cat, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Arabian Night, like K-N-I-G-H-T, and then Hawk Jones. Yeah, I've heard about Hawk Jones. That's a total of seven. Those are five sevens and three eights. Can you get them all in there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, what was the last one? Hawk Jones? Mm-hmm. There should be seven. Man, you know what? Here's the thing is I, I, I wasn't too thrilled. Um, I wasn't too thrilled about this theme, TBH, because I was like, ah, yeah, it's going to be lame. But uh, I don't think we've had this many to vote no. from in a yeah. long time. So yeah, for agree. those of you that rated that are not familiar um, with with what we're doing here, you may not have seen all these movies, but you do want to vote for what you think the best it's trailer someone was. Someone you like, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, cool Cat Save the Kids we just watched, pretty insane. Um, Adventures of Mark Twain was a really crazy uh, claymation one that was pretty fun to watch. Puff and Stuff was like a like an acid trip of like a 70s kids thing. Sid and Marty Croft. Yeah. King Kung Fu, which is not getting any points. Like the more... The further away stupid. I get from it, I like it more. Yeah, you know, dude. In the context of everything when else, I'm like, that one was bonkers. went in the bathroom a little bit ago, I was just giggling in there about the fucking King Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? Man, uh, I, I did a little too much gummy off, and now it's, <laughs> it's starting just like, to get on top of me. When I went to the bathroom, I was just laughing. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just looked down, and I was laughing. Uh, Arabian it's Nights not- getting some... some uh, some love. Arabian now, Night was see, good. This it is was a problem. I talk about one of these and then people start voting for it because I'm an explosive magnetic charisma bomb. And uh 
A talking cat was also pretty insane. Yeah. Remember that? Um, if you don't remember, it's it's a it's a, a it was a movie where the cat had like a a really poorly animated mouth. Yeah, dude. Let's not even call it a mouth. The hat when the cat talked, it was a black oval, like yeah. a like a paint three D level. It, maybe yeah, if that even probably not even that, but just a fucking flash animation black oval that would just like go like this, you know? So, yeah. Mad God was not not G-rated. (laughs) A talking cat. (laughs) Also, the talking cat only talked to every, could only talk to everybody once. (laughs) So like you would hear the cat. I forgot. Yeah. Sam mentioned that. It's so fucking weird, man. Is Uh, Arabian night in the lead. Yeah. Thief in the car. That's interesting because Arabian night looked like a good movie. And we don't get that very often. True. You know what I mean? I know, I Obviously, trailers that are great, you know. But, like, I mean, Cool Cat Saves the Kids was an incredible trailer. I'm sure that movie is complete horseshit, you know? Uh, cool Cat? No, I think Cool Cat's probably, like, uh, like a cult masterpiece. Yeah. Um, while I'll, I'll, I'll pull those up in a sec. Uh, I'll bring them back. But I did want to watch um, movie... Me too. Uh, I, I wanted to show this trailer because I fucking love this movie. And Sam got me the poster for the a Polish version of this poster. And it's oh, it's genuinely a very good movie. It, it, genuinely a, a great movie. And it's crazy to be like, these were acting, acting animals. And uh, uh, this was a, I think, a pound, like a, a rescue, you know, that he taught all these things. And there's not a lot of dialogue. It's It's very good. It's it's not Milo and Otis. No, that was Chinese, and they killed a lot of animals in that. Yeah. These, I don't think they really killed oh, okay. too many animals. But oh, like this oh, movie oh, has emotion in it. Yeah. No, I've seen this. It's so good. Yeah, it's great. Presents an incredible motion picture adventure. Benji the Hunted. Do Benji as a dog? A courageous Very dog cute. must fight for survival. And for the lives of four For the love of Benji, I think I like a little more though. Oh my god. It's just oh, Benji's like a spy guys. in Greece or something. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Benji, that's a weird thing to you know, eighties and early nineties kids like you and I like Benji was kind of a big deal for a little bit there. This totally. came out in the theater. And heartwarming tenderness. I might have seen it in the theater. No. Benji had so much emotion. To oh, look at these little nuts. guys. You know what? We're talking about movies my daughter might like. Hello. Pure fun. Should fucking watch Benji, this with her. She would love it. For the love of Benji is a good one, too. There's no I'll have to look up. Maybe one, of the, in Europe. maybe one of the boutique uh, Blu-ray companies that I love has Benji done a really nice box set of the Benji. Benji. Saga. <laughs> Let me know. That's one I would buy. You never know. You never know. What if they did? Um. Yeah. That, the original that's... Benji's nineteen. You know what? They make those Benji movies just spaced out in time enough that it's. I don't think it's ever the same Benji. You guys. You know what I mean? Benji the Hunter is on Disney Plus. Did you just say that? No, I did not. No. Okay. Uh, what about for the love of Benji? That's the one I want. I said. Oh, that's one you were asking watching. about. There's no way those animals got treated right. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm, I kind of agree with you because they don't really make animal movies like this anymore. And when, when Timmy and I were kids, remember there was like, yeah, you remember the bear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a ton of these. Yeah. Uh, And I don't know if it's a thing where they're just out of fashion now, or it's just that like you can't make a movie like this without (laughs) really. Violating several rules, yeah. Uh, um, so Ben for the love of Benji, not streamed anywhere that I could see. Uh, Benji gets lost after flight overseas and becomes a stray in Athens, Greece. He then tries every day to reunite with his family while mysterious people pursue him in a race to get a code which is secretly tattooed on his paw at the airport. But who are the bad guys and who are the agents that can be trusted? Will Benji and his kids and their nanny ever get to enjoy their vacation? Isn't that a crazy premise? That like sounds he turns into like a spy. Right. It's like the man who yeah. knew too little, but he's a dog. Or the man. It reminds me. Also, we made that whitest kid sketch with uh, Trevor and Sam that I love, where Sam talks about getting a coat out of a dog's dick. 
<laughs> so this kind of is on on point for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love that one. Um, I always think. So who you know, gets funny. left alone by their owners more, Kevin McAllister or Benji? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what were you gonna it, say? It's about? always funny though when like somebody like drops a line from a sketch, and I'm like, "What is that from?" And it comes back to me, and I'm like, "Oh, that's so funny!" Because like we watched um the movie Sex Drive, and there was like a dominatrix scene, and I remember like the bad oh, dominatrix God. sketch, and I just thought that was so funny. As Sam as the bad dominatrix, it just came back. I was like, oh, "I forgot about that." And then every time, um, um. I eat like a spring roll. I think of Sam, a Vietnamese burrito. <laughs> and Trevor's like, what? And he throws the shoe out the door. Remember that one? Yes. God, Vietnamese I love that burrito. sketch. Burrito. Uh, I know, man. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to wake Margaret up right now. Oh. Like, yeah, I know you got school tomorrow, but like, we should watch Benji the Hunt. <laughs> Do the you want to? I'll go get yeah. us some Doritos. <laughs> You're going to be sick tomorrow, okay? We're just going <laughs> to yeah. call you in sick. We're gonna I'm going to call in sick, too. We're going to watch all of them, the whole fucking show. Yeah, also, Homer Benji. Bound ruined it for everybody. Or No, Milo and Otis. That's probably yeah. what ruined the whole. <laughs> Dude, the fucked up, one of the fucked up things about Milo and Otis, too, is that you watch the dog actually give birth. And there's just, which is fine. I've seen animals give birth, but it's like weird to just throw that in a kid's movie, you know? Like there's all these puppies just falling out of the lady, you know? I don't remember that part. All, like, yeah, dude. Like seared you, in my mind as a kid waterfall. was the waterfall and being like, like I knew something was wrong as a child. I was like, <laughs> yeah. there's something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Punish Wilmer says, fuck school, Benji and Doritos. Is that not, does that not sound amazing to everybody right now? That's a Me? memory I would, I would cherish forever as an adult. If I remember like, you know, my mom was like, Hey, we're skipping school. I remember when the, I remember when my dad, uh, you know, uh, jeopardized my education to make me watch a bunch of dog movies that we could have watched later. And the whole thing happened because he ate too much weird candy. <laughs> weird candy? Yeah. <laughs> Space candy. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think Arabian Night wins it. I think it's uh, a very solid Arabian Night. Was uh, a 33% couple... of the vote. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool Cat Saves the Kids was was uh, a close second. A late uh, entry, a late entry. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but I understand, you know, a lot of people that only got to see that one. Because now we have 600 people in chat when the show was mostly 1,000 people. So we have less people what? now than we were You're watching. You're full tonight. of shit. He is so full of shit. We had a couple hundred, and then we got raided with a bunch. And then it slowly dropped as the, as people were like, I don't know what I'm watching. Because right when they got raided, these guys were talking about wrestling because the guy that raided us uh, did, did boxing and wrestling. And then we yelled at each other for some reason. And then Sam left, and we... I we were know, talking about boxing. Yeah, the boxing, not wrestling. We showed the video. How cool is that? No, no, you, you I watched like it video? too. But then, like, no, and I got all that, and I thought it was great. And he, I think he, but his run in was amazing. But then you guys talked about a bunch of other stuff that I didn't follow at all. So, and that's fine. I don't know about everything. I don't know. You about should much. see the movie Warrior, though. That's what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've always meant to. I don't like MMA, and I think it's I, like I like boxing. I'm not an mm -hmm. MMA guy. I think it's whatever. But um, that movie is is just a good movie. Um, yeah, know? that's what I've heard. Big Row One says, "I will pray for Nate having to edit this vid for the VOD channel." Nate, let me this tell one's you gonna be weird. Yeah, yeah, no, this one's gonna be don't, weird. don't edit it. Don't edit it. It's gonna be like a four hour long. <laughs> In the last one, the one I put up recently. About the Domino's zombies. fleet, I did not I, ban you. We timed you out. If I accidentally hit ban, that was on somebody else, not on you. But I undid it. I've oh started putting stuff that was off the rails on the back of the episode, so the people on YouTube oh, who just really? want to watch it, like how on SNL show. they put the sh the weirdest sketch at the end of the night. 
pretty much. But I put it like <laughs> we end the show and then there's more stuff afterwards. Um, we do go off the rails right. a bit. Uh, so more. right now, right now, let me do this. Hey, if you're enjoying this one, fans, stay tuned for some wacky outtakes. Does I mean, that work? I might not. You can put yeah, that in there at the end. Yeah, yeah, I can. can but I might not be able to even like pull it apart. This might just be like we're just going for it. We're just gonna put it out there. <laughs> we see how it goes. I mean, there was nothing bad. Like, no, um, it's just uh, it's just a wild ride. Right? You know, s- some things require more editing be, than others. Self suck. I had to you blur your butt this- crack out. I know. I get. That's when I gotta lose weight, man. I can't be showing people that. No one needs to see that. I'm sure there's someone out there that feels like they need to see it but trust me tanzig says um, just edit the intro thing yeah <laughs> the comments on the youtube are like just start the show so now it's like now we just redo the that. comments on the youtube say that some of them it's all i, I, I never I, really looked at much of the youtube comments for trailer boys apps so that's funny don't <laughs> well the thing is is you know um there's a crochet pattern people do that just says never read the comments. I feel like everybody needs one like hanging in their office. Like don't fucking read the comments to anything. I like it. <laughs> um, uh, it. It is funny though. when people, you know, you know, trailer boys will get the comments and people will be like, uh, Zach's the best trailer boy. And it's like, he's done one episode. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Well, they just, uh, it's the, the, the barbarian level really changed things, you know? So he's, he's got it. more, he's got more stands than us, you know? I haven't seen it yet. Yes, you have. I've, I've, I've talk- heard it's good. But you, you know, know what? what? It's not I, I know. I give it a one. Um, <laughs> tomorrow night, we are most likely going to be watching another mid hunt. Um, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I stream under Nate Blackest. I didn't, uh, put the, I didn't put the lower thirds up, but, um, mid hunts, uh, we got a few of them last week. We, we, uh, there's, uh, we watched there's disturbing too many funny behavior. Comments. Ooh, uh, yeah, uh what's that? Katie behavior. Holmes. Katie Holmes. That's like the uh, classic James early two thousands comedy or Nick comedy Stahl. horror movies. Right? Yeah. 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 I, you know, the thing is it's one of those ones that it was, it was better in my memory than it was uh, watching it. Um, uh, Supercross, probably, yeah. which, which was pretty fun. That was a, uh, the dirt was bike a movie, dirt bike movie, um, Tokyo drift, which took, the, took the, uh, the charts by storm. Tokyo drift moved up to like the number three spot, which is nuts. And then, uh, the need for speed movie. So we, we cranked mm. out a bunch of them last week. Um, I want to know what our ranking is now because a waste dark away says, speaking of homes, I added the gift to the mids list. I know there's one part that's not mid. <laughs> is that something TOS that I'd have to be wary about? Well, she shows her boobs in that movie. Boobs. I, I think that's boobs. it. Um, uh, oh, alien resurrection geez. is our number one movie. I wonder if this, I wonder if I, that's a, number one, meaning the one everyone liked the most. Yeah, of all the mid movies we watched. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Alien Resurrection. Um, I uh, it, to me, it's like okay, it was the fourth movie. You don't have to keep doing the same thing. Go ahead and do something fucking bananas with it. You know what I mean? And so they did. And I yeah. don't think like there's a. It's very silly. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that's. Like, you know, the plot and some of the acting is going to hold up under intense scrutiny, but it's uh, like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. The weird white alien thing at the end, like the baby thing and like all the the weird shots and gunplay because that crazy Frenchman directed it. you know, was there a weird white alien thing at the end? Some kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Right? I forgot about that. No, then you no, got Winona right, right. Ryder in there as, yeah, the, yeah, 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 as yeah. an android. And uh, is that one, because sometimes in the alien movies, they point out right away, and then sometimes it's a surprise. Yeah. She was she was pointed out right away, or was that a surprise one? That was a surprise. Domino's Fleet says it's an alien-human hybrid, and that movie is awful. Hey, one out of two ain't bad. Well, Anyways. I mean, um, don't, you know, like, of all the, the mid-level movies we've seen, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, we're a film club, and we watch, you know, cinema and film. And no, then there's people no, that no, are like, <laughs> we only watch the worst movies that everyone knows about. Wait a about, minute. Hold worst. on. I have one beef to pick. Beef to pick. 
Yeah. Uh, New Nightmare. You guys didn't like that as you guys liked Jeepers Creepers more than New Nightmare. Well, so we redo the rankings every mm. month, and oh, okay. um, it gives you two movies to choose from, and you just pick which one you liked, and then it gives you a list that's your personal list. And so this one takes everybody's list and puts it together. So this has only been ranked 11 times, um, and it changes okay. you know, as people's memories go over. New Nightmare I hated, and so I'm like furious that this is in 10th spot, because Freddy Krueger is not like barely in this movie. And I get right. it's like a meta thing for like fans mm-hmm. that really enjoy it. But for people that don't really follow it so religiously, it was, uh, right. it was boring. It's for people um, who want Freddy with sunglasses or dressing up in a chef's hat. Right. Yeah. Or just the in real the movie, fans, just in the movie. You know? He is in the movie. And you know yeah, what? Like the, the last 10 is, minutes. Yeah. So the thing is, is, uh, I feel like um, one problem with the whole 80s slasher culture thing is that it made people obsess over the villains, which is fine because they're all great villains, you know, but like then they started putting their movies too much. And that's, you know, that's why a lot of time the sequels to these are, are no good. Cause there's just all, cause they're in it so much. I love nightmare on Elm street too, which doesn't have Freddie in it much either, but um but the first one, he's not in it a ton either. You know, it's all about being effective. And I would say the end of New Nightmare, I just watched it the other day. And, like, I'd say it's really effective, you know. And I enjoyed the buildup to it. Even, even you know, I'm not the biggest Nightmare on Elm Street fan. I've seen the movies. But, uh, you know, I just thought that uh, it, it worked, you know. I like it a lot. Have you seen Moonfall, though? No, I'm not. Yo, I was talking about Jeepers Creepers and other horror movies. I understand putting Moonfall above pretty much everything. I haven't seen it, but I get it, you know? It'll blow your socks off. <laughs> Zach Spiker says, hashtag beef picking. Look, I think it's. I think I coined a new phrase. I don't mean to be beef picking. <laughs> Yo, can we just call that the part of the show when I show my movies? Just call it Timmy, beef picking with Timmy Williams. Yeah, that's, that's, there we go. It's uh, who gives a shit? You know, just do it. Um, so yeah, all right, Domino's. Listen, is... I I don't like you at all, but I like that you're ta- I, I like that you're talking about the Puppet Master movies. I'm just kind of kidding, <laughs> but I wish the Puppet Master movies took off more. You know, those are I, there's like 16 Puppet Master movies. You know, there's What's so the other many. one, Demonic Toys, Puppet Master versus Demonic yeah, Toys. Yeah, well, Full Moon Features has the whole thing, and then there's a uh, Doll Man or some shit. There's Doll Man. Uh, Pop Tart says beef picking is when Timmy and Nate inevitably argue. You know, that's like coming up with a special name for like uh, walking. Like we do it enough that it doesn't need it. it's like a cute title. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think Beef Pickin' should be the name of my movie set. My well, uh, yeah. b- 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 diss- We've been physical a, I, media. I, I gotta go to bed. All right. Um, let um, us. Full Moon is obsessed with little creatures. A mythic makes a good point. You don't have to pay puppets <laughs> as much. He's. <laughs> So Mondays, I've been doing a thing called <clears throat> After Boys, which sometimes we'll just watch something from uh, mm-hmm. Trailer Boys. But if we don't find something, then we do another mid hunt. So, what cool. it, of the movies we watched tonight? What cat. would you think would be a good After Boys? Cool Cat. Cool Cat, really? You're gonna go Cool Cat to watch? You you think well, I should watch that? What else? Well, Arabian Nights would be cool because that looked like an actual good movie. Um, yeah. A Talking Cat would probably be fun, but these are not mid; these are bottom feeders you know what i mean so well yeah i mean after boys we don't have to watch mids oh after, after boys, boys okay watch, I, just, uh, I just all right <laughs> cool cat art oh puffin stuff that's not a bad idea puffin stuff seems pretty crazy uh um, says yo does beef pick and have legs i think it does zach because what i said i don't mean to pick a beef or something and then you said beef picking and now we're gonna call if you were watching earlier zach when i did a little bit about my recent movie collection uh additions uh now we decided to call that segment beef picking so good job um timmy hey. <laughs> let me let me let me pose some some potential raids to you and you choose. All right. Okay. We have a guy in Japan who does yes. like an in real life. He's an American guy, but he lives in Japan. He walks around Japan. 
Um, we have a um, a cute girl, and we have a guy dressed in a uh, reptile costume that does an advice based talk show. Oh, Count Pupper's on. Mm. I don't see Count oh, Pupper. Count on. Pupper. Well, I would rate Count Pupper. It's Count Pupper uh, doing an after. But um, okay, I, I like guys in Japan and I like cute girls, so I'm really torn between those. Guy in a lizard suit, you've seen one, you've seen them all. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to rate Count I'm Pupper because we did a watch party. Uh, Count Pupper's been up on the watch parties as well. Hell yeah. Um, fun stuff. <laughs> all right, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for All hanging right. out. I'm falling asleep. Uh, this, this one got real weird. This one got real, but real weird. I think weird. it was good, though. And we're yeah. all still friends here, right? We'll see what it looks like in the edit. <laughs> Enjoy the 25-minute version on YouTube in three weeks. <laughs> there was the... Yeah, you, you should skip through some of the uh, VODs to see like what makes it, what doesn't make it. Because you'll be like, yeah. oh, they, we, they just get right into it. <laughs> right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Bye, everyone. Thank you for hanging um, out. Hey, bye, guys. We Is love that... your butt. Don't ask for my butt oh. crack. You don't need it. <laughs> Nobody does. Bye-bye. Bye. Love All you guys. Right. We have raided. Oh, my God. Dude.